feet, if you don't mind. Um, let's stand on our feet to pray so we can pray very well. Um, the Lord is our strength. Amen. I want us to give the Lord all the glory that is due to his name. The Lord has been good to us since Wednesday evening. Um, so many things have happened in our lives that we cannot quantify. So many things have happened in our lives that even our minds cannot phantom. But the Lord, you know, his mercy has prevailed. Can we open our mouths, raise our hands, and begin to bless the name of the Lord? Um, I want us to picture the Lord Jesus and thank him for the mercy that we have received on this mountain. Let's thank him for the appearance that, you know, um, came to us on Wednesday, on Thursday, yesterday, and even this morning. I want us to give the Lord all the glory for mercy, for his, for his goodness, for his kindness. Everybody in the auditorium, everybody online, I want you to open your mouth right now and begin to bless the Lord. Menda katalaba razeka tabashte embregedila matove lenadi rande kastepalia nochevana katela rebede la bada kate varus te pepe onigadila maragadela no kishtevaya men jabaye tuve men jobaya katela bino kaste ravinka preketele barakate te ferini abache makatela barando feria gado sheshemanga Reba baba katela matuvia dan regado regadina regadona regadani rekastiba makapila makatela makasuse fanashta we bless you we thank you we, we we are grateful to you jesus yama na coste filimante parata make sure you're praying make sure you're not talking in the auditorium if you're in the auditorium i want you to you know pray i want you to stop every side talk right now and Close your eyes and begin to pray. Banasa, Megata, Medina, Makate, Mezola, Megafia, Mestiba, Makate, Machtepapa, Yoga, Telemetavia, Nokate. We bless you. We thank you. We worship you. Oh, we give you glory. We give you glory. Seganito, Sabalate, Regedani, Kostefalia, Matebalano, Regetila, Makatoje, Paravate. I bless you. I worship you. Yanaka Telamiko Tasabani Mekatila Makatoja Barateva Mande Katela Mande Katela Mande Katela Mande Katela Revenish Tokoba Raba Bayaku Teveni Renzo Zomen Dabayaka Talima Remba Bayeka Testafila Ragade Rakato Rakapashte Falama Yanaka 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 Yanika Stapapa Remba Bayoka Tele Benashta, Rikavina Katela Mr. Papa, Inda Damana, Mate Baraka Tela Jita. Oh, we bless you. We bless you, Jesus. We worship you, Jesus. We thank you for the mercy that we have received. Thank you for change. Thank you for opening my ears to hear. Thank you for opening my eyes to see. Thank you for conversion in my heart. Thank you, Jesus for spirits that you poured forth in my soul. Thank you for the bread and the wine. Thank you, Jesus, for the word of God and the testimony of Jesus. Yea, thank you, thank you. Thank you for impartation of spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Thakima kotevane kastepapa, yamana kebarato peletiba. Oh, we thank you. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Jesus. Thank you for impartation. Thank you for grace. Thank you for mercy. Yana Katela. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I want you to thank the Lord for blessing. Thank the Lord. I want you to think deep. Think deep on what you know God has done for you on this mountain. Open your mouth and thank him. I thank you, Jesus, for the spirit of the fear of the Lord. I thank you, Jesus. Oh, we thank you. We thank you for coming through to us. Yea, we thank you. We are grateful. We are grateful. Masa, Mande Baba, Mante Kapa, Ibarato, Kapareste, Papayate, Kaparata. Honor to you, Jesus. 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 Adoration to the Lamb. 
Oh, we thank you. We thank you. We thank you for the activity of angels. We thank you for the activity of the seven spirit that was made available. We thank you, Jesus, for the spirit upon. We thank you for the spirit within. We thank you for your hallowed servant who you have sent to minister to us. Yea, we thank you for helping them to discharge even the body that is in your heart. We thank you, O oh Lord, for all your servants. We thank you for strength in their bodies. We thank you for strength in their minds. We thank you, O oh Lord, for gracing them with, with help to follow the leading of the Spirit. Ye manate parate kabani, renge preketia lonotiva, rakatela mekotiba. We are grateful, we are grateful, we are grateful, we are grateful. Semanti, sebaka. Emba katela makastapa, otina katela makateba, jamana, kabara, ketova. We are grateful, we are grateful, we are grateful, we are grateful, Jesus. Ebanato, kapareta, kepalata. We are grateful to you, Jesus. Ejane katela, take all the glory, take all the honor, take all adoration. Jesus, you are worthy to be praised. Jesus, you are worthy to be praised. Can we praise Jesus? Everybody, I want you to praise Jesus. I want you to praise Jesus. I want you to praise him. Can you open your mouth and speak according to the revelation in your heart that you have of Jesus? Jesus the lion. Jesus the lamb. Jesus the servant of God. Jesus the humble one. Jesus, the meek and lowly one. Yea, Jesus, the fearful one. Jesus, the gentle one. Jesus, Jesus, we praise you. Jesus, we extol you. Yea, Kamasa Papa Yeta. I want us to offer sacrifices of praise, sacrifices of thanksgiving to Jesus. Manakatela, if Jesus was standing in front of you, you would do better than this. If Jesus was standing in front of you, only you and Jesus in a room, I'm sure you're going to do better than this. But should I shock you? Jesus is listening to you. Jesus is standing before you in the spirit. I want you to connect to him by faith. He is here already. Angels are here. It's not possible for us to be gathered alone. Honestly, we never left the realm of the spirit anytime we share grace in meeting. We are always still in the spirit. We are always still in the meeting point. I want every heart to praise Jesus. Every heart, let's worship Jesus. This is the grand finale of this meeting. I want you to bless the Lord Jesus of this mountain. I want you to bless the Lord Jesus of this anamnesis. Yanakatana, Yeberiketiva. Nanchi ke parasto ke papa, mante pareka, ofeniama topelaki. I bless you, I worship you, we bless you. Kamate ke barata, papa, ramakate, papa. I bow my heart, I bow my heart, I bow my heart to you, Jesus. Empereke tilibata, ompeke tele benikitaba, rinza hali, makatela, mantu velida, re, raka, prando, fili, mante, kapa. Rababa, bakate, rakate, rapada, beshta papa. In the name of the Lord Jesus, samakata. If you're not praying right now, you are very wrong. Gasato, zenekate, breketila, rembeketo shibana, ebabayona kefelino katana. Everybody, picture the Lord Jesus. Don't look around. Don't look around. Don't don't look around. Don't look at your neighbor. Don't look at somebody right now. Just focus on the Lord. Yamiki, pray from your spirit. Pray from your belly. Out of your belly shall flow rivers of living water. I want you from your belly to give him praise. I want you from your belly to give him worship. Give him the glory that is due to his name. Embalota, Hampeketiba. I praise you. I praise you. I praise you. I worship you. I bow my heart to you. You are my Jesus. You are my Jesus. You are my Jesus. You are my Lord. You are my God. You are my friend. You are my lover. You are my lamb. You are my high priest. You are my succor. You are my comforter. Jesus. I fear you, Jesus. I love you, Jesus. 
I reverence you, Jesus. I tremble at your feet, Jesus. I do not take you for granted, Jesus. I hallow you, Jesus. I fear you, Jesus. I honor you, Jesus. I praise you, Jesus. I love you, Jesus. You are more than 10,000 to my soul, Jesus. You are fairer. You are most fairer. You are fairer. You are fairer than 10,000. Jesus. Yamikituna Gasteva. Yemeketiba. Let everything within me bless him. Let everything within me praise him. Yamakatata. You are the reason I stand. You are the reason I'm, I, I'm alive. You are the reason I have breath to praise. Jamate, Gapata, Eveneta, Castabila, Rebadino, Catapilo, Jefenate, Ekapira, Stepra, Hinto, Preki, Ebalabato, Venaka. I praise you. I praise you. I praise you. I praise you. Kamito, Kesama, Kotiba, Jofeni Dibala, Rabaketele, Benistofenia, Ekapapayata. You are the reason I live. Take all the glory. Take all the honor. Take all the praise. Take all adoration. Babaye, babayato, gamase, palito. Egene so si fenechonoga. Papa yonge peretiba. Mankate la basabana. Yanakata. As we are praising, we are ascending. As we are praising, we are ascending. As you are praising, you are ascending. As you are praising, spirit is entering you. As you are praising, the oil of the Holy Ghost is coming upon you. As you are praising, there is entrance for your soul. Babakatamika. For the Lord Jesus inhabits the praises of his people. The Lord inhabits the praises of his people. When you praise the Lord, the Lord inhabits your praise. The Lord inhabits your praise. Yakate nakata. If you want entrance tonight, if you want your heavens to open, then praise the Lord from the depth of your heart. If you want open heavens, then praise him, praise him, praise him, praise him. Kimakata, Kimakata, Machimonta, Menefenikitana. I praise you. I worship you. Yanate, Ampalata. Ha ha. Jesus, is he not worthy of your praise? Is he not worthy of your praise? Is he not worthy of your praise? Is he not worthy? He is worthy. He is worthy to receive my praise. You are worthy to receive my praise. You are worthy to receive the lifting up of my hands. You are worthy to receive honor from me. You are worthy to receive surrendered. You are worthy to receive a surrendered heart. Yenakata, Yometepali. You are worthy, Jesus. You are worthy, Jesus. I praise you. Kamane, Kapata, Kevene, Katila. Let everyone right now open your mouth and praise him. Praise him. Yubaminu Kitana. Yemeketiti Papa. Yofefini Kitina. Damikiti Labata. Yea, the fruit of our lips is the sacrifice of praise. The fruit of our lips is the sacrifice of praise. Ye Makata. Let your lips move. Let your mouth be open. Say sweet things to the Lord. I want you to say, He wants to hear you. Don't, don't just, you know, say it in your heart. Say it with your mouth. I praise you. Say it with your mouth. Say it with your mouth. I praise you. Say it with your mouth. I love you, Jesus. Say it with your mouth. I honor you, Jesus. Say it with your mouth. I worship you, Jesus. Say it with your mouth. You deserve all of me, Jesus. I will worship you forever forever from everlasting to everlasting mekatela makatete jamakatela barabata dadaya ebebeketila manta we will praise you eternally we will praise you in all eternity hambababa 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 akk i feel we should just praise the lord for his goodness and for his wonderful works to the children of men on this mountain, he has broken the gates of brass. He has caused the bars of iron asunder. On this mountain, deliverance has taken place. He is worthy of our praise. He is worthy. He has opened the books. He has loosened the seal. He has given us grace. Has he not given you life? Has he not given you mercy? Has he not given you grace? Papani, Papa. Pepani, Papa. 
Praise him with the instrument of ten strings. Praise him with the satri. Praise him with guitar, with tambourine. Praise him with the dance. Praise him. Praise him dancing in the spirit. Praise him, you Yukamanta Papa. Praise him by the spirit. Praise him. Let everything that has breath praise him. Let everything that has life praise him. Let everything that has revelation praise him. If the Lord has put breath, if the Lord has put breath in your soul in this anamnesis, praise him. Dance, dance, dance. Aha, aha. Laugh, laugh. Aha, aha. Sing, sing. Aha, aha. Make melody, make melody. Aha, 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 aha. Aha, aha, aha. You can chant, chant. Aha, aha. Kapanate, Empreketila, Atehila, Haramini, Ankahanta. You can sing in the spirit. You can dance in the spirit. Imbababa, Kapalia, Efenete, Atakate, Atemeta. We praise. Every art must be gathered unto Jesus. Unto him shall the gathering of the people be. Unto Jesus shall our gathering be. Aporia, Haparia, Asemia. Praise until your soul breaks through into a realm tonight. For the Lord is going to appear to us in a powerful, in a terrible, in a dreadful way tonight. You must not be shut out of the appearance. You must not be shut out of the visitation. You must not be shut out of the revelation. Praise him. Praise him in the dance. Praise him. 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 Inka, Asa, Inko, Esa, Eshana, Ekata, Epapaya, Aparito, Ekepila, Atemina, Etobani, Antiakata. Are you tired already? Are you tired already of praising Jesus? Praise him by the Spirit. Praise him by the Spirit. Praise him with a shout. Praise him. Praise him with a shout of praise. Praise him. Kapania. Eshekete. Yamaka. Praise. Esemenia. Okate. Shamatama. Mekate. Makatata. Praise him. Yometi Finanche. I want you to forget that you are in the hall. I want you to praise him like you are alone in this place. Praise him. Praise him. Praise him. Praise Jesus. Picture, picture Jesus alone. Damaka, can you dance before Jesus? Ekaneka, Oferima, Eperite, Atete, Etata, Atate, Etatina, Akaman, Esapaliata, Epeporini Bante. I praise you. I praise you. Namanaka, he shed his blood. Your blood, your blood, your blood, your blood. You have given us your flesh. You have given us your blood. You are giving us your flesh. You are giving us your blood. You are worthy to be praised. You are giving us your flesh. You are giving us your blood. You are worthy to be praised. Yama, Yamo, Yake, Rabi, Kuseta. You have given us all. You have given us your spirit. You have given us your spirit. You have given me your life. Aha! Praise the La Porikitama. Can we shout hallelujah? Praise him. Bashata, Baketa, Belate, Eperita. We praise the Lamb. We praise the Lamb. You have given us everything. You have given us your blood. We are drinking your life. We are drinking your blood. We are drinking your spirit. We are drinking. We are eating your flesh. You have given us your word. You have given us your, your spirit, your testimony. Yay! You have blessed us with understanding. You have blessed us with wisdom. Are you not blessed? Are you not blessed? Are you not blessed? Has Jesus not been good to you on this mountain of anamnesis? Can you shout hallelujah? I want you to praise him. 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 Pesheta, Kepata, Petiba, Pakata, Pesute, Jameka, Japata. We praise, we praise, we praise, we praise, we praise. 
Eketetete, praise. Shop her, shop her, shop her. Hey, Borega, hey, Borega, hey, Borega, hey, Borega, Atamata, Atamata. If you catch your mind wandering away from Jesus, I want you to tame your mind. I want you to tame your mind. I want you to tame your mind. Let your mind focus. Let your mind focus on the one you are praising. I want you to forget whether you are worthy or not. Right now, forget about yourself. It's not about you. It's about Jesus. Forget. Can you do a little of what you are going to do in eternity? Can you do? Hey, hey, what's the first thing you are going to do when you see Jesus in the world to come? <laughs> what is the first thing you are going to do when you see Jesus? When you see Jesus, that thing you are going to do, oh yeah, do it now. Do it now. That thing you are going to do when you see your Lord, when you see your lover, that thing you are going to do when you see Jesus in heaven, that thing you are going to do when you see Jesus, when you see Jesus, Kilomashe, what will you do when you see Jesus? I said, do it now. I bless you. Yay! You don't have to wait till you see Jesus face to face. I say you can do it now. Because Jesus, the Lamb of God, the Rose of Sharon, the Lily of the Valley, is in our midst. He's in our midst. He's in our midst. He's in our midst. I say praise the Lord! Eshekete, otemite, etekina, asenianto, eprepeyeketete. Is that all you've got? Is that all you've got? Is that all you can give Jesus? Do you know me to ma? E do me satemina, eshemete, otipapa, abele beketila basta. I love you, Jesus. Some of us will burst into tears when we see Jesus face to face. <laughs> Some of us will just be silent. And just be looking at him and just be looking and be looking and be looking I love you Jesus I'm intoxicated by you I love you I love you I am madly in love with you Jesus I am crazy about you Jesus you have done me good Shamata katana. I praise you you have given me your life you have given me flesh you have given me blood. You have given me all. You have given me your spirit. Epekatela, Hatia, 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 Epa, Etamaka. If we praise him for 45 minutes, it's not enough. Apa, Ekete, for praise is comely to the upright. Praise is comely to the upright. When you see Jesus, which song are you going to sing to him? If Jesus tells you to sing a song to me, what will you sing? What will you sing? I will sing by the Spirit. I will make melody in my heart. I will tell him para papaye, pepe nusinane, e kabiri dema, ototomele, e teteli alma, ateli katana, yeme, oria, e rie, e reketete pa. Hey! Jama katata la barabakate. I praise you, Jesus. I say, what will you say when you see Jesus face to face in the world to come? When you see Jesus physically, what will you tell him? What will you say? I love you. I love you. You have been good to me. Yay! Some people will rap in the spirit. Ibagada not tevelebati. Ekaberu debe tamachapa. 
I praise you. Maneke me. Jama katele berekete. I say praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Ha <laughs> Praise. Shekatele berekete. Eferi mitapa. The Lamb of God is already in our midst. Keep praying, keep praying, keep praying, keep praying. You don't need me to ginger you to pray. You don't need me to ginger you to praise. Ah, if you are conscious of Jesus Christ, you will praise. Jama jama joma jema jama jama jome jeme Jesu 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 Capareto fini catela Meketele bere begedele barabacadalaba I want him answer. I want you to praise him. Praise him. Praise him. Praise Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want you to shout hallelujah, hallelujah, yeah. hallelujah. Hallelujah. Is that the best you've got? Hallelujah, hallelujah. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Yeah. To the Lamb of God, to Jesus Christ, hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Yeah. Yeah. I want you to picture the Lamb of God in our midst. Hallelujah. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Yeah. 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 Hallelujah. Oh, sing it. 
Aleluia yeah. Yeah. Amen Amen Can we hold one another? Everybody let's hold one another Can we tell Jesus that give us capacity for your appearance tonight? Everybody tonight Tonight honestly we are going to see Jesus in a great and powerful way I want us to pray listen I want us to pray tonight give me the necessary fear the necessary trembling the necessary awe in my heart to take all of you let me say this this meeting is not our meeting this meeting is not even the servant of God's meeting this meeting is the meeting of the high priest now we should keep our hearts we should fear him a whole lot of ministration on fear and honor has come to this morning yesterday pastor tosin grebel also said it whenever we come to the presence of god the bible says we should keep our foot we are coming to realms in meetings whereby we can no longer afford not to fear the lord in fact in our heart we should not be angry at god's servant anytime he's ministering in fact your thoughts should be pure your mind in the meeting should be pure i want us everywhere can we pray that the lord will give us capacity for his appearance that the lord will give us grace not to offend the atmosphere of the spirit that the lord will help us to trap his coming tonight everybody open your mouth and pray open your mouth and begin to pray that lord tonight as you are appearing i am not going to offend the spirit you will give us capacity to take your dimension tonight. You will give us capacity to take whatever way you are going to come. Jesus, yesterday a prophecy came that Jesus is coming in a different way. I want us to pray that tonight we will take your appearing. Hey, Shema Katela Manta. Hey, Perekete Tevele Bekatela Bishta. As you are praying, you are making the atmosphere set. You can pray louder than this. You can pray with more zest. You can pray with more vigor. You can pray with more passion. You can pray with more spirit of prayer. Help us increase our capacity for your appearance. Increase our capacity for your appearance tonight. Yay, help us. Help every heart. Help us tonight. We will not hinder you. Satan will not attack us to hinder you. You will give us grace. You will strengthen us. We just have a few more minutes to pray. I want you to pray, 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 pray. Etone, itana, etone, itena, ataka, etoba, eshi, kapala. Do you know your prayer is doing something right now to your heart? To the atmosphere of the spirit. Yea, Shekemati. Eketele Beneketushe. Embe. Yes. Something is happening right now. As we are praying. Eberege. Eberege. Asanada. Ekataba. Aperata. Antelege. Oshinageta. Esukaveria. Atela Mancha. Etoke Perita. Ateke Paranso. Eteka Perinsa. Ateka Perinso. Eteka Parinsa. Ateka Parashata. Epele. Atakata. I want you to speak. I receive power. Mogbadara, I receive strength, I receive grace, I receive capacity for appearance tonight. Abeli Gata, can you pray for the person you are holding? I want you to pray for that person. Pray the strength of the Lord. It will rest upon us. Nobody will miss tonight. Tonight is the grand finale. Hey! Any spirit that I ought to take in this meeting, any blessing I ought to take in this meeting, and that I have not taken, it will not elude me tonight. You will give me capacity, capacity. Yay! I receive capacity. I receive garment. I receive help from the throne. I cannot help myself to be blessed. You are the only one that knows the way, the pathway of blessing. 
The fear of the Lord begins from prayer time. The fear and the reverence you have for Jesus in, in the meeting begins from opening prayer. The way you reverence the Lord, even in opening prayer, we show how you will reverence Him during the ministry of the Word. Can you picture something resting upon you for tonight? Can you picture a grace? Can you picture a mantle? Can you picture a covering? Can you picture a spirit? A mantle, a mantle, a mantle, a garment. Help from the throne. You will help us. You will help us. Help the atmosphere of the spirit. Hey, help us tonight. Have mercy on us. Open heavens. Open heavens. You will help. We want your coming. We want your appearance. Your appearance. There is a grace. There is a grace that should come at the appearing of Jesus. That grace will not elude us. Everybody, can you pray? The grace that should come, it will not elude us. You will help us with angelic help. Angelic help. I will not miss the grace that should come at the revelation of Jesus. The grace of God that bringeth salvation has appeared, has appeared. The appearance of Jesus is to come with a grace, is to come with a grace. There is a grace for tonight. There is a grace. I want you to wrestle in the place of prayer. Ah, it is time to fight in the place of prayer. Like Jacob fought with that angel. He wrestled. He wrestled through the night. He said, I will never let you go unless you bless me. Unless you bless me. Mr. Jacob fought. He wrestled. I want you to wrestle. I will not let you go tonight. I must receive a blessing. Jesus, 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 Jesus. We ask for mercy. I know, I know, mercy, mercy. We have not come here to excite ourselves. We have not come to anamnesis to come and see one another, to come and catch up with friends. That's not why I camped for four days. I camped, I camped, I came here, I connected this meeting to touch a particular grace. Abina Sata. Everybody, if you are hungry for a grace, express your hunger in the place of Jesus. Many Katama, I will not leave you empty handed. I will not leave an amnesis. 2023 empty and dead in the name of the Lord Jesus you will have mercy you will have mercy I don't know how the mercy will come but you will just show me mercy put your fear in my heart put your reverence in my heart put your faith in my heart help me Jesus to connect the spirit I will not be disconnected when your servant is preaching the spirit of understanding oya pesakita egbemiwo in the name of the lord jesus e pekete ketone gedila gadole gadili gada okete okete i will ascend i will ascend tonight the grace of anamnesis will rest upon me loru ko jesu loru ko jesu Lord, God, Jesus, in the name of Jesus, Epeke Lima Shata, yeah, 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 yeah. Pray, express your passion to Jesus, express your hunger to Jesus, in the name, in the name. Me and my household, me and my household, my wife, my children, everybody in the Namashata. Nobody will be left out. Ekapasian Dapasha. We are here for serious business. We are not here to just come and enjoy meeting. We want to receive a grace. There is a grace that bringeth salvation that must appear. Ebelu Kitama. 
Ebe Lukitama. Don't stop praying, oh. You are connecting something right now. Yay! Apeleka sole miki tamacha. Eparo. Eseneka. You will help us, oh. You will help this company, Jesus. My story will change. My name will change on this mountain. Ah, Anamnesis 2023 will be a reference point to a life changing encounter. Tonight is my night. I don't know about you. Many people in the body of Christ are having meeting this week. Your own meeting, you are looking for something. What are you looking for? 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 The body of Christ, everybody is looking for something this week. You, what are you looking for? I am looking for you. I am looking for a grace. I am looking for a grace. And I am asking, by the mercy of the throne, you will show me mercy. We will receive that grace. All the company of brethren joining to eternal life. The grace that should come tonight, it will not elude us. In Jesus' name we are prayed. I want us to pray for God's servant finally. When I say finally now, please don't reduce the tempo of your prayer. Now I want us to pray for daddy. That daddy will be empowered not to look at our face tonight. That daddy will be empowered to be bold in the spirit tonight. Daddy will be empowered to please Jesus tonight. That daddy will be empowered for Jesus to appear through him tonight. Daddy will have utterance tonight. That Jesus will appear through his servant. Everybody let's hold hands and pray. Let's pray for God's servant. That tonight he will receive power from Jesus. He will receive power from Jesus. To bless us specially. Is that how you are going to pray for God's servant? Is that how you are going to pray for God's servant? You should pray for God's servant more than the way you pray for yourself. Because when you pray for God's servant, honestly, you are actually praying for yourself. Tonight, God's servant, God's servant will receive the mercy of Jesus for the coming of the Lord. Everything that is needed for coming. Everything that is needed for, for coming. For anamnesis. It will be given. 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 In the name of Jesus. I want you to talk to your Lord. I want you to pray. E perikisa doyomiti doyomete. We pray. Have mercy on your servant. Have mercy on your servant. Your servant will connect. We align with heaven. We align with angels. We align with ministering spirit. Your servant will connect to Jesus. You will help your servant. You will strengthen your servant. Are you praying? Are you praying? Are you praying? Make sure you are praying. I don't want you to look at the way somebody is praying. Don't look at the way your neighbor is praying. Hey, hey, me I know that if you pray, you would have great entrance tonight. I want you to pray. Have mercy on your servant tonight. You will feel his mouth. You will open his mouth. Hey, get master. E beli kitane, oteni gishanita, e baranga prestafila, meshaneka, otemiki, esovini, ampre kestiba, e perige, ashanage. Pray. Can we pray that there will be utterance for God's servant? There will be leading of the spirit. There will be help. 
there will be supernatural help. You will grant him utterance. You will grant him entrance. You will grant him leading. You will open his mouth. You will help. Yo, pray, 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 You will have mercy on us, Jesus. Help your servant. Let there be a door of entrance. Pray. The grace of the Lord Jesus will abound. Pray. Shagade, Shagade, Epere, Esole, 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 Esole,
Jesus for two hours. The same thing because they were trying to chant up the spirit. What are we going to do for the coming of our Lord? When I heard this song, I heard it like an army with bands. Chanting, 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 chanting. I just heard it in my spirit. Some people's hearts are not 
open yet. Your hearts are not open yet. As for me, I will be free before my Lord tonight. Let it do with me what it pleases. I'm going to sing. I'm going to dance like I've never danced before. I'm going to dance in the spirit before my Lord who has prepared a table before us. Under the banner that he has set for us. Where 
It's raining over nations and it's welcome here. The king is a lion and the king is a lamb. It's raining over nations and it's welcome here. The king is a lion. The king is a lamb. It's raining over nations and it's welcome here. The king is a lion. The king is a lamb. It's raining over nations. The king is welcome here. The king is a lion. The king is a lamb. He's reigning over nations, and the king is welcome here. Hey, uh, the king, king is, is a lion. The king, king is a lamb. He's reigning over nations, and he's welcome here. Oh, the king is a lion. The king is a lamb. He's reigning over nations, and he's welcome here. Yeah. The king is a lion, the king is a lamb. He's reigning over nations, and he's welcome here. Jesus is a lion, Jesus is a lamb. He's reigning over nations, he's welcome here. Jesus is a lion, Jesus is the lamb. He's reigning over nations, Jesus and he's welcome here. Yeah, Jesus is the lion, Jesus is the lamb. He's reigning over nations, Jesus is welcome here. Jesus is the lion, Jesus is the lion, Jesus is the lamb. He's reigning over nations, he's reigning over nations, Jesus welcome here. The king is a lion, the king is a lamb. He's reigning over nations, the king is welcome here. Yeah, the king is a lion, the king is a lamb. He's reigning over nations, Jesus is welcome here. Jesus is a lion, Jesus is a lion, Jesus is the lamb. It's raining over nations. Jesus is welcome here. Oh yeah. Jesus is the lion. Jesus is the lamb. It's raining over nations. Jesus is welcome here. 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 The Lion of Judah. The Lion of Judah. The Lion of Judah. Conquer death. The lion of Judah is no longer in the grave. The lion of Judah has conquered death. The lion of Judah is no longer in the grave. Hey, the lion of Judah has conquered death. The lion of Judah. The Lion of Judah is no longer in the grave. The Lion of Judah has conquered death. The Lion of Judah 
once established in the heavens, let all creation worship Him. Come worship Him. He lives forever, Lamb of God. He lives forever, Lamb of God. He stands to establish in the heavens. Let all creation worship Him.
the prince of peace will be seen. Reconciliation will be written in the heavens. Reconciliation will be done in the heart of mortal men. We will be reconciled to the most high, taking away from our backers, taking away from our debt, brought close by the blood.
I'm not hearing you. Can you say it is finished? Hallelujah. Can we lift our hands and give thanks to God this evening? Let's appreciate God. Let's bless his name. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you for your finished work. Thank you for that which you are said to finish in us. Even tonight, we are grateful. We thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name, we give thanks. Amen. Thank you very much, Sas and Mas. Can we put our hands together for our pastors? Amen. We're praying. Praise God. Good evening, sir. Good evening, Ma. Good evening, daddies and mommies. Good evening, pastors. Let's say amen. Let's turn our Bibles to the book of Hebrews. We want to pray to bring up our daddy. Hebrews chapter 1. In the light of the emphasis that the Lord has been emphasizing in our midst, um, since on Wednesday, in the light of the emphasis in our various um, um, communities uh, that we're coming from, you know, gathered unto the Lord here, even in the light of the emphasis leading up to our anamnesis, the prayers, you know, that held here in Lagos for about a month, um, towards the end of it, it nose dived and peaked, as it were, in certain emphasis which has been emphasized and want to pray some around them as we bring up our daddy this evening Hebrews chapter 1 Hebrews chapter 1 I read um, verses from verse 1 to 4 he said God who at sundry times and in diverse manners speak in time past unto the fathers by the prophets at in this last days spoken unto us by his son, whom he had appointed heir of all things, and by whom also he made the world, who being the brightness of his glory, and the express image of his person, and upholding all things by the word of his power, when he had by himself purged our sins, sat down at the right hand of the majesty on I, verse 4, being made so much better than the angels as he had by inheritance obtained a more excellent name than they. Let's say amen. amen. Reading Hebrews chapter 8 in that same regard. Hebrews chapter 8, I read verse 6 talking about our Lord Jesus Christ. He said, but now had he obtained a more excellent ministry by how much also he is the mediator of a better covenant which was established upon better promises. Let's say amen. Now leading up to uh, anamnesis, you know, God's servants, you know, by the help of the Lord, you know, began to teach and minister around the ministry Praise the Lord. You know, so leading up to anamnesis, um, that the part of the emphasis that the servant of God, by the grace of God, you know, um, brought forth that really, really um, was astounding, you know, and um, impacted our hearts is the issue of the ministry of Jesus that ought to come to the church. Let's say amen. There is a sense in which, you know, um, Daddy said on Wednesday night while he was ministering, he said, where two or three are gathered in my name, I am there in your midst. There is a sense in which when sins gather, Jesus is there. There is a sense in which Jesus is there. There is also a sense in which maybe as a minister, a minister is ministering, you know, um, we invite the Lord and say the Lord should use me as he wills, the Lord should speak through me. I'm saying, for example, if I'm ministering and I'm praying, 
you know, use me, speak through me, you understand, less of me, more of you, I decrease, you increase, and truly, truly, the Lord hears that prayers, that prayer, and, you know, by the grace of God, by the anointing of the Spirit, depending on the level of the work the Lord had done in that minister and ministry, you know, the Lord would, you know, through grace, you know, suppress that person and minister through the person and there is also a sense in which the lord also can visit a meeting you understand at any level you know for those of us who are conversant with god's servant reverend kenneth e Egan, many times reverend kenneth e Egan, we're ministering and the lord jesus will come into the ministry administration and say things to him many times that would have an impact on him as a minister and on the ministration that he is ministering at that time and after that time Jesus comes so there are many sense in which Jesus interjects you know in ministry in ministering in churches you understand you know over the years you know uh, ch contemporary church history you know reading books we can tell Jesus interjects a minister and helps a minister ministers through a minister but one thing that he said that astounded us, and I, I know it's a major emphasis, and it's also a burden in the heart of the servant of God, is the very ministry of our Lord Jesus Christ. That when he was on earth for three and a half years of him being, you know, in the open ministry, he ministered as a prophet, you know, you could say he ministered in almost all the fivefold ministry, you understand, you know, and he fulfilled the will of God. He died. He was raised on the third day, glorified at the right hand of God. But while he was on earth, there is one ministry that he bore, that he carried, that is very invisible, that only becomes visible in the emphasis of Jesus as the Son of God. That only becomes visible in the preaching of the revelation of the mystery of the Father. Without the mystery of the Father being found and being, you know, uh, highlighted upon by the Spirit of God, you know, through our appearance in the Lord, it would be difficult to discover this ministry of Jesus. Even though we make references to it, we quote it, um, we preach it, but the tangibility of it seemed not to have, you know, popped out and, you know, come forth the way really, really, really it is in the epistles until the emphasis on Jesus being the Son of God. Jesus being the Father, as it were, being brought forth. Only then did this ministry of Jesus began to show forth. For example, in the Gospel of John, Jesus who said, you understand, the works that I do, it is not me that do, do it, it, it is the Father that dwelleth in me that doeth the works. Now, ordinarily, we've read that place for years, and it just seemed like, okay, Jesus was talking as the Son of God, you know, in the days of his flesh. But it didn't occur to us. Of course, first of all, it was God entered him. God dwelt in him by the reason of the you know, manifestation of life everlasting that was cultured in him by the Father. The Father taught him life everlasting and the Father eventually, when that life was revealed in him, indwelt him and lived in him. Not only that, the Father was also in him, helping him and doing ministry also through him. The Father lived in him. He lived the life everlasting. But also because he said, it is the Father that is in me that doeth the works. The works as in the works of everlasting life, first work, last work. But that work also had a toll on the kind of ministry Jesus did. The kind of mind he had as a minister. The hope he had as a minister. What drove him as a minister. The ministry he did was elevated to a height that is not the kind of height we find now. So until the mystery of God is pushed 
and found by the help of God at the height of everlasting life, there is a ministry of Jesus that would not show forth. So the last week of you know, praying for anamnesis, the Lord showed so, so much mercy through his servant in emphasizing the ministry of Jesus that ought to be in the churches. Not just, you understand, probably him, when he visits, it's a great blessing. It's a great mercy. The Lord, that the Ego said, he said, the Lord can visit a ministry, can visit a ministration, he can interject, and yet his ministry to them, his present day ministry to them has not come. That his present day ministry is so, is so important that what the devil did to shut out that ministry is to bring many other definitions of ministry. That the fivefold, with reverence, not uh, being critical, the fivefold now serves those many other ministries. So the Lord gave apostles, He gave prophets, evangelists, pastors, and teachers for the perfecting of the saints, the work of the ministry, which is everlasting life that the UK has taught. The work of the ministry that Paul is making reference to is the ministry of everlasting life. Because that same word Paul used in 1 Timothy chapter 1, he said, when he pleased, um, you know, can you give me 1 Timothy chapter 1 verse 16? Where Paul talked about God who put him into the ministry. Is it verse 16? Verse 12. He said, and I thank Christ Jesus our Lord who had enabled me, for he had counted me faithful, putting me into the ministry. This ministry is, of course, he is a fivefold minister. He is an apostle. He is a prophet. He is a teacher in all verity, he said at some point. But much more, these three ministries that Paul had could be at the level of milk. One can be an apostle, a prophet, a teacher at the level of milk. One can be an apostle, a prophet, a teacher at the level of the meat of the word. But there is what is the ministry. Really, really, what is the ministry that the fivefold ought to also eat the mark is the ministry of Jesus, wherein Jesus would be given space in the minister for him to also always minister through the minister to God's people. And the servant of God said that that ministry of Jesus cannot be carried out until a people journey to the point of everlasting life. Because the heavens hold Jesus and not give him forth to do his ministry. The way the servant of God painted it put a lot of pain in our hearts, those of us who were there that day, because we saw that Jesus was being cheated, as it were. He is not being allowed. Satan knows he is a minister. He wants to, because Paul said in this Hebrews 8 verse 6, he had obtained a more excellent ministry. So Jesus is not just in heaven for just being in heaven, just waiting. He wants to minister. He has a present day ministry. But the entrance to that ministry of Jesus is a people being brought forth to heavens. Because his ministering is in the heavens. He is a minister of the heavens. Things heavenly. Things everlasting. Things of the Father. So as long as the people don't journey that far, Jesus is handicapped. He can't preach. He can't minister. So one of the burdens in the book of Hebrews is the burden of he who can allow, you know, you know ministries who would allow Jesus to come and be a minister of the sanctuary and of the true tabernacle. We can preach about the sanctuary and the true tabernacle and he is not yet there. So part of the burden the Lord put in the mouth of his servant, in the heart of his servant, is that, and if I remember God declared it, the Wednesday, the last Wednesday, uh, before the, the grand finale in preparation, that that ministry has come. That Jesus has come to open the frontier of that ministry. And I'd like us to pray. Because the burden in the servant of God, from the way the servant of God ministered, is that that ministry, and I know it's the burden in the heart of Jesus, would be a ministry that would 
that would engulf our community and push into the body wherein Jesus would always be ministering. If he is not ministering at this pedigree, in his coming, because this is ministry, really, is him coming. And it is this is ministry that can fully perfect the work of the sanctuary and fully birth forth the work of the most holy. If this is not done, there can never be a rapture. He is the only one that knows how to build the house that would eventually make him physically come to catch up a church. So this is ministry is literally his appearance. Wherein he will raise himself in ministers, he will possess ministers who will now minister with him at different degree until they can minister with him a hundred percent. Now, how many of us want to pray tonight? Because part of the body in the heart of God, in the servant of God, is that this ministry will be bad forth here. It will be bad forth. You know, the graces of this ministry, this office would open up and Jesus would without hindrance begin to do ministry as he wants to, even from the heavens. With the exception of elderly people, our parents and ministers, can we be on our feet as we pray some tonight? Can we ask? I'd like us to pray it from that book of Hebrews. His servant, our daddy tonight. That the Lord would elevate, the Lord would strengthen, the Lord would uphold, the Lord would empower, the Lord would fashion, you know, more rightly, the nature, the work of the Son in His servant, so that Jesus would speak through Him and show forth the manner of His heavenly ministry, even in our midst and towards us. Can you hold someone as to pray that in the name of Jesus? That the Lord would show mercy to his servants tonight. Mushinandriye to Robaka Zambre na Tezagarana. Paul said in the book of 1 Timothy, chapter 1, verse 16. Zabarane Shula. He said, How be it for this cause I obtained mercy? That in me first Jesus Christ might show forth all long suffering for a pattern to them. We should hereafter believe on him to life everlasting. And in saying this, he was saying it with regards to chapter 12. That Jesus put him in the ministry. Can we pray that the Lord will show mercy to his servant tonight? Reverend Kyle Deo Yegoke. That the servant of God would find mercy tonight. Mercy. A mercy that one who the Lord is raised to stand before a generation ought to find. Mercy for the Lord in him to show forth all long suffering. That the ministry of mercy in showing forth all long suffering in his servant would, 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 would spring forth. That the mercy of Jesus because of this ministry. Yeah. 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 Meloneti azaga. Onete. Oh, yeah. yeah. Sabra, Graneti, 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 Shule, Funande, Freti Tetenyazale. Freti tetete azizo oleti titi koskenetia sprane 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 that the Lord would show forth all long suffering. He said the long suffering of the Lord is salvation. That the Lord would show forth all salvation. That the ministry that ought to connect the ministry of Jesus, who is made more excellent. Who had obtained a more excellent ministry that the ministry in that the Oyegoke would be made red sharpened to connect that ministry of Jesus for a pattern shangromate severeneto shule muzeki tanasi balata kote neti aza 
shangre ke tata kalikate ore ke tetelepa ore ke tetelepa ore ke tetelepa can we pray that the lord would add more instruments instruments that daddy needs to connect jesus at this pedigree instruments to connect the coming of jesus i know you yeah yeah i know you yeah yeah Ogenete tete grace 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 the grace that your servant needs so oh god are you ready 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 shete kete 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 have mercy on your servant because of a generation have mercy oh god ine Weti, weti, weti barata, shendaga na takalikate. Ore ta 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 ta. Mekata takalikate. Mekata takalikate. Metata kalikate. Ora mata, shenekate. 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 Can we pray that tonight the servant of God would find mercy to connect with Jesus? To connect with Jesus. Say, yeah. You put up, 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 put up. Yeah. Many mana teteliba. Many mana teteliba. Many mana teteliba. You mean no man 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 Mesibra takalakata all the rituals for to align with Jesus imanetia in mind in heart wale wale mushia kasko motetetetetetete ela monata ela manata greta takalikate darama cheche shele ketetete can we ask for utterance that the son of god who speak from heaven tonight that the servant of god urgani atebra takalikatesia oh shinalesia gombre 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 medenati alaski baraneti alaba eh sprene 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 o te 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 ore genata la baba Good evening, every one of us. Thank you so much. Okay. No, no, no. no. Yes. Hallelujah. Uh, I want to say glory to Jesus. Uh, we have come to the grand finale. We are almost ending. But it won't end here with us. I, I know our hearts are hungry and I know the Lord is faithful. He will show up tonight. Um, I, I just feel, I, I don't want to say feeling, I've been checking it inside my heart. I felt this is the appropriate time to take the offering, the special offering. I feel the Lord wants to 
collect this offering from our hand. And so if you have your basket, you have your money, I want the baskets to go around and uh, we should... I think we have the... Is it the special offering has its own special account? Amen. Pastor Moses, does he have a special account? Amen. Just give me the account of this offering so it will be different from all other offerings. Amen. Shout hallelujah. And uh, if you don't want to use...
honor your name. Aduna. Aduna. Thank you. Thank you. Brother Musi, come and pray for all false faith. Thank you, sir. Our Father, we thank you. We give you all the praise and all the glory. Thank you for the mercies that you have granted to us in a time like this. Our Father, we thank you for the privilege we have to be called into your life, to be called into your name, to be called into your glory. You have given us everything. You have not held back anything from us. Thank you for the things that you have added to us in these days of being here. Thank you for this garden of yours. Thank you for the treasures of life and of wisdom that has come to us. Our Father, we are grateful for the privilege we have to be part of your project on earth. Thank you for everyone who has been privileged today, O oh God, to sing to your heart and to respond, to give, to sow. Thank you, Lord, because of the giving of this hour is commensurate with the giving of our hearts to you the giving of our heart to what you have to do, especially in a time like this and in the time that we're in, the season that we're in in the spirit. Thank you, Father, for this. It's also a sowing that is to bring righteousness. Thank you, Father, because we're sowing unto righteousness and we have confidence that we are not just reaping the same thing we are sowing back that we are reaping back everlasting life. Thank you, Father, for the, for the investment of the season, of oh God, and the reaping, the, what is coming back to us. What you said, you sow your seed, cast your, your, your seed upon the water, your bread upon the waters. I do not, it will come back to us in many days. It won't come back the same. It will come back with weight. It will come back with glory. It will come back with presence. To come back with power, it come back with blessings. Thank you, Father, for this return upon this old house, upon us as a people, as a community. This time, thank you for the uh, season of great blessing we are entering into in the year 2024. That abundance of blessing that is granted already to us, who is still upon every head, upon every life, upon our assemblies upon our dwelling places that we will see, see safety we will, our dwellings and our lying foes will be in safety through the year in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ thank you Father we appreciate you for today all the glory and praise you because devourers are rebuke on us for our sake and our land is secured thank you mighty Father in Jesus mighty name we pray Amen thank you sir
Amen. Hallelujah. Interpretation. Yes, sir. I can't have any. Thank you. Thank you. She don't have a friend of a man. He the kilo me friend is the messina. She will not hurt us the sina. He will not hurt us. I just tell his sister. I don't have less yes than either. Plead on a fortune. Season Zegan Sars. Sassy McLeafia. She have a hider and star. Thank you. 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 Thank you for opening up the door for me to come. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for opening up the door for me to come. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for opening up the door for me to come. Even my ministry, even my long and wait ministry. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for opening up the door for me to come. Even, even to perform my ministry even to fulfill my ministry even to fulfill my ministry even to proceed and to do the work for which I have ascended even for to do thank you thank you for bringing me honor before my father thank you thank you thank you God. thank you Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I want to say thank you. I want to say thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for opening up the door for me to come. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And my peace, and my peace on Anikos and Anitos. And a mino tesis, and a mino tesimo, and a nimo 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 and a nimo tesimo, and a even keys with my angel. Even keys with my angel. Even keys with my angel. Even mine own angel. Even mine own angel. Even mine own angel. Even mine own angel. Even Michael. Michael. Michael has brought keys to you. Keys. 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 Even keys. 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 Many keys. Many keys. Many keys, many keys, many keys, many keys, many keys to fulfill his ministry also with you. Even his ministry, his ministry, his ministry, even to fulfill a ministry, even a prophecy, even a prophecy, even with you, even a, 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 a prophecy, even a prophecy, to fulfill a prophecy, to fulfill a ministry, even to fulfill a prophecy, even to fulfill a prophecy, even with you and in you and through you and in you and with you and through you even to fulfill a prophecy is come is come with keys even keys even keys 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 of accent keys of accent keys of accent even miracle keys of accent 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 miracle 
Jesus of our sins. Miracle keys. Miracle keys. Miracle keys. Miracle keys. Miracle keys. Miraculous keys of access. Miraculous keys of access. Miraculous keys of ascension. Even miracle keys. Miracle keys. Miracle keys. How can many, 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 many miracles? Many miracles, many miracles, many miracles, many taking up, many taking up, many, many, many taking up, many taking up, many taking up, many taking up, many much more taking up, many much more taking up, many much more taking, 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 many much more, many much more, many much more, many much more, for I open a door to many much more, even open the door. Even open the door. Even tonight. Tonight is a door night. Tonight is door. 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 I open an effectual door. Even for you tonight. Even for you tonight. For all who would see me. Even tonight. Says the Lord Jesus. Amen. Amen. Zu angelize, 
to angelize. Sumi sumi is in the angelite. Even the eyes that I gave to the angel, even the light that I gave to the angel, it is my light. It is mine eyes. Even that eyes, I have sent him to bring to you. I have sent him to bring to you. Even to bring to you. Even mine throne eye. Even the eye as of the throne. A judgment as of the throne. A judgment as of the throne. As of my essence. Even my perspective, my conclusions, my sight, my tronic sight, my tronic sight, that you might cooperate even with my flow from the throne, even with my saints, my saints, my saints, my saints, my saints, my saints, for I have saints as of the throne, even saints of the end, even end saints, even omega saints, even saints that will cause you even to come home, even to come home, even to come into it in the boje jojo in the jojo, or the me jojo, or the me jojo jojo, or the me jojo jojo. Otime Jojo mo Jojo Jo, Otime Jojo mo Jojo Jo, Otime Jojo mo Jojo, Ojo mo Jojo Jo, Ojo mo Jojo Jo Jo, Ojo mo Jojo, Ojo mo Jiji Jojo, Ojo mo Jojo Jo Jo Jo, Ojo mo Jiji Jojo Jo. O oh, Jojo, O oh, Jimmy Jojo, O jo. oh, Jimmy Gigi, O oh, Jimmy J J J, O oh, Gigi G G G, O oh, Jimmy J J J, O oh, Jimmy G Jimmy Jimmy Jimmy, O oh, Jimmy Jojo Jo, O oh, Jimmy Jojo Jo, O oh, Jimmy Jojo Lo, O oh, Jimmy 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 Jimmy, O oh, Jimmy Jojo Jo, O oh, Jimmy Jojo, O oh, Jimmy Jojo, O oh, Jimmy Jojo Lo, O oh, Jimmy 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 Jimmy, O oh, Jimmy Jojo Lo, O oh, Jimmy Jojo. Oh Jimmy J J J, Oh Jimmy Ja Ja Ja, Oh Jimmy J Lo Jo Lo Jo Lo, Oh Jimmy Jo Jo Lo, Oh Jimmy Jo Jo, Oh Jimmy, Oh Jimmy, Baba Mi Jimmy, Baba Mi Jimmy, Baba Mi Jimmy, Oh Jimmy Jo Jo Lo, Oh Jimmy Jo Jo, Oh Fiorore Jimmy, Oh Jimmy, Oh Jimmy, Oh Jimmy Siawo Rore, Oh Jimmy, for have saints, even saints that would have walked in you, that would have waked in you, that would walk in you, that would awaken you, even that would brought you, even that would brought you, even into the house of my father, even into the image and likeness of my father. I've come with them saints, I've come with them saints, I've come with them saints, saints to make even the fruit, even the fruit, even the fruit, even to awaken, even so. Yeah, even fruits, even fruits, even saints that would awaken, saints that would cause the dead even to be raised. I saints of my God, I saints of my Father, even saints that would bring home, that would bring home, that would home, 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 home. Up, 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 saints. Bring up saints. Even saints that go bring you home. Can we shout hallelujah? Hallelujah. Amen. My Jesus is oceanic. Our Jesus is a sea. Jesus is a fountain. Yeah. This spring from on high. Yes, Jesus. Call his name. Yes, sir. 
Again, Jesus is a shining. Everybody, can you sing that? Jesus is a sea. Jesus is a fountain. Jesus is a spring. Spring of the water. A spring from our Jesus is the love, the beat of a new day, the beat of a glory day, now we enter the day, I am glory God. What is that? Holy, holy God. I hear him say, I am Father's call. Holy, holy call. Holy, glory call. Jesus is no shining. Is there anybody who believe that? Jesus is the sea. Jesus. Jesus is the fountain. Nobody but Jesus. Jesus is a spring. Spring of the living water. A spring from on high. Jesus is a dark. Lord in our How many of you will enter into the day? There is entrance tonight. I said there is entrance tonight. Because Jesus is around. Adonai is here. Are you ready? Jesus is a shonic. Jesus is a sea. Is it a sea, Jesus? Jesus is a fountain. Is there anybody who will say Jesus? Jesus is a spring. Ay, 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 ay. Are you seeing it? Jesus is a fountain. I'm not hearing you say I want to enter. Are you not shouting you want to enter? You know why he has brought down glory. Jesus has come with glory things, with father things. Not just the so. I am glory oh. Holy, holy God, glory, glory God. Help me, help me, my son. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just let it be.
Jesus is so strongly. Jesus is a free. Jesus is a fountain. Jesus is a spring. Spring of the living water. They spring from the heart. That the day you are not going to be holy tonight. Everyone say no holy holy. Yeah. All of you are not saying. I say no holy holy. I want to enter into the day. Say, I will enter into the day. How many of you say, Jesus, thank you tonight? Amen. Hallelujah. I want to greet everyone, all the ministers of the gospel. I don't want to greet too much. I've been greeting you, I've been greeting you, and I'll keep greeting you. But uh, just to let you know, I appreciate you, all of us who are seated. I appreciate my wife. I appreciate you all, my brother in the in the Lord in the ministry, all our pastors. I say you are welcome. All our elders. I say you are you are welcome. Shout hallelujah! Any appreciate them? Hallelujah! How many of you will say Jesus? I thank you. How many will say there is no day like that of Jesus? I learned it. When Jesus comes, darkness will disappear. He will bring dawning. Huh? He will bring the day. Yeah. Yes. Thank you. Why? Why? He's bringing the morning. God will bless He's bringing you. Bringing the dawning. Uh huh. He's bringing the day. When Jesus comes, th- yes, sir. Darkness will be gone. He's bringing the morning. He's bringing the dawning. He's bringing the day. For it has pleased the Father. It has pleased the Father to release Jesus to us. To give us Jesus. Jesus has come. And Jesus has come. With a different light entirely. Entirely new light. Jesus has come. Jesus has come. Darkness is passed already. Darkness is passed over me. Thank you. Glory day, I got glory day, I got glory day, I got glory day, I got glory day, yes sir, yes sir, say it, I got glory, I got glory day, I got glory day. I, I have a body. I want to. What is my body? Someone ask, What is my body? I want to paint Jesus. I want to paint Jesus. I got no job on at all. 
to give testimony to Jesus. I said, Jesus. 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 and morning star mm. you know the meaning of that thing the bright and morning star is with us ah, <laughs> ah morning star is here oh shit bright and morning morning star is here i say he's here bright and on the Sunday star is here like play like play bright and on the morning sun is here I want you to say to the congregation. Right the new day, sun is down. <laughs> he was on the road to Damascus. <laughs> oh, he's here now, now in our numbnesses. Right on the morning sun is here. Shining upon us. Yes, sir. Taking away the darkness. Blinding our eyes from the world. Taking our eyes from sin. Taking our soul away. Alfred, my son, don't be angry with me that I'm calling your name. You know what is happening? Mm. One guy thought he was a morning star. Ah. He said, easy. He thought he had got a secret of a morning song. He said he was a morning star. Mm. And he fell, he left God. Mm. And he fell on humanity. And thinking there can never be remedy. Oh my God. Ah ha ha ha. Hey 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 hey. Ah ha ha ha. Hey hey. Say You know what? You know the sons are just played the other time. <laughs> it was the father's laugh. He's a seat in the heaven we laugh. But when God laughs, oh, yeah. my father knows they laugh all the time. Oh. It can take him six thousand years to laugh. Yeah. But when God laughs, oh. <laughs> hey. one time I am sure the father laughed hmm. when Satan fell because he Satan. Let me call him money star like Isaiah called him. In a heart that fallen from heaven. Oh Lucifer, son of the morning. The father laughed. You get me? I said the father laughed. Why? The father laughed because he had opened the agenda of a new generation of beings coming to earth. Amen. You know why Jesus is so important? Jesus is the firstborn. Like Reverend Busui taught, of eternal songs. You know, angels don't serve God, oh. They don't worship God for a long time. But worship is about to begin. I said, worship. 
I say it's about to begin. How many of you believe like worship is about to begin? Adonai is oceanic. Adonai is a sea. Adonai is a fountain. Adonai is a spring. Spring of living water. The spring from on high. Adonai is a God. believe that is a dawning of the new day. I, how many of you know say when day they change, you know consign physical climate. Not so. Day changes when men are awoken to real realization. Hallelujah. Of a reign of the spiritual upon the falling darkness that is on earth i said day has changed uh, it's like i don't know, I like darkness 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 you know they fear darkness. I don't not like darkness. You know they fear darkness. I don't not like darkness. You know they fear darkness. I don't not like darkness. You know they fear darkness. I don't not like darkness. You know they fear darkness. I don't not like darkness. You know they fear darkness. I don't not like darkness. You know they fear darkness. I don't not like darkness. You know why I don't like darkness? He liked to copy his papa. In the beginning, heaven, God created heaven and the earth. The earth was in that form and void. Darkness was upon the face of the deep. That's when the father came. So when darkness don't cover, it becomes something that I don't know. I said, This is what I've been waiting for. I've been waiting for the time when darkness will cover the earth. Gross darkness, the people. Hey, something don't happen. No. I said, Something don't happen. Go shouting upon the mountain top, tell it to the heat that the eater of darkness has come. It's because we don't know where thing Jesus be with the with the with the <laughs> darkness. Darkness is the place where he reigns. Anytime Satan cover is creating a living spoon for Jesus to reign. Shout hallelujah. Light can never show well, except there is darkness. You want to say, I don't know, I like darkness.
Are you sure?
Can you help me appreciate them? They are, they are minstrels. <laughs> These ones are no musicians. <laughs> Jesus raised them. Thank you, sirs. Help me appreciate Jesus in them. It's not every musician that can sing Jesus. Hallelujah. Uh, they've been under tutelage. They have been blessed of God to minister to Jesus. Pastor Hanfred is a minister of the gospel. He ministers the word. And at the same time, he's a minister. is a minstrel. He's a, he's a minstrel in the new, of the New Testament. Hallelujah. And you can see he was under his father for a long time until he was done by the word of God. Ola, Yomi, and Lanley. Hallelujah, they are sons of the house, children of the house. Hallelujah. One time TJ had them singing some years ago, he told me, these guys are all of them, are, even the band, those people singing, they are not musicians. Amen. Jesus has raised them. Jesus has raised them. Thank you so much. That, that, I, I, that, that, I want you to stop that reading. It's dangerous. I beg you, it's dangerous. Amen. The thing they talk to me, everyone say, Amen. Shout hallelujah. I want us to say, and the light shineth in darkness. And what happens there? Uh, and is about to happen. Now, when we check, it's a twofold prophecy. Amen. It's a twofold prophecy. When Jesus came and through the fourth century church, Jesus was a light in the world and he shone. And when Jesus left, the light was partial and when the church grew the light became whole and that light shone in the world and darkness comprehended it not the season John wrote the book of John it was towards the end I heard that the epistle of John was older the gospel was older than the epistle can we shout hallelujah can we say amen and that light, so by the time he was given that record, it was given an accurate record of their day. Not just imagine that John should be about a hundred years or more. Hallelujah. When he append that, that, that writing, that, that word, that phrase, that the light shine in darkness. And what happened? And darkness completely they knew that dark, they saw darkness weakened they saw the weakness of darkness now this was the light that shone in them and because of this light they broke empire into pieces not with sword but with light i can tell you that the answer to this world is this light that ought to shine in darkness. Thank you so much. Let me appreciate them. Amen. Sorry, uh, we've not wasted time. We have ministered to Jesus. I just feel I should flow that way. Amen. Are you blessed today? Uh, and I thank God that most of you, I came, a lot of people, they came to me giving me a feedback that yesterday was wonderful because I really felt bad. You see, I have it's not easy for me to be happy after such long hour keeping you for too long until I am strong to believe that you people like what happened yesterday. Amen. And I don't want to take the opportunity of you. Amen. Amen. I had Lake praying that God will give daddy boldness. Am I talking to you? I had him. I had, don't think I had that prayer Hallelujah. They came, my son. It's just what's a one-way road. Let's get this eternal life done quickly. 
Even the way you raise prayer points, everyone is gonna live this other life is something we are here for. Why are we wasting time? Shout out. I can see it from the tone of his voice. I saw it, I heard it, I said, Let you hear you come again. He said that God should give daddy boldness. Uh, while the prayer was going, I believe, but you see, it's not easy to catch on to Amen. And uh, I believe his prayer will be answered tonight. Uh, and you know, you can, if, if it's possible to pray, Lord, give us acceleration so we can quit, finish quickly today. And that would have been awesome. Uh, hallelujah. Uh, that would have been awesome. Amen. I want to make you happy. Amen. But when you're a minister of the New Testament, you offend people. But not you. Not you. You have followed Jesus. And uh, for the fact that the Bible said they want to bring you home, and home you go go. Yeah. Praise the Lord. I, I thank you all. I want to say you are blessed. You are well seated. I greet everyone. Everybody is looking fine this night. Looking pretty. Looking beautiful. Looking handsome. Hallelujah. Pastor Emeka, have you told Pastor Lillian that she's a pretty? It's good. Oh, so he's like, Jesus is here. Don't let us see any nonsense. No, he's here. Uh, hallelujah. Uh, Jesus gave you the wife. And he expects you to tell her, wow. Wow, babe. Here we Hello, I, I don't want to be kind of, I want to focus on Jesus because the way my wife is dressed tonight is a name. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> Shout hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Can we shout hallelujah? You just, what, what is in God's mind to design a woman? Imagine all of us are men on earth. Imagine all of us. Huh? <laughs> I went to a secondary school in the north called GSS Musawa. <laughs> government secondary school I, the first day they told me that that is where you are going I've never heard of that name all my life Musawa where is that one and uh, later on my father make inquiry because he's traveled uh, the vast of the north he's, you know so um, it didn't talk before you know it early in the morning around is it January 22 they took me in a vehicle and then they drove. My mother and my father, I was behind. I was watching them. We passed Giwa. We passed Funtua. We passed Bakuri. We passed Malumpeshi. We got to Maraba Musawa. Then we went down. In. Deep, deep, deep. We kept traveling. After some time, no sign of life. <laughs> my school was planted between the main junction of the main road leading to Ketsina. Then... Are you getting me? In between that junction and the, the little village called Musawa. That is where Balao Usman is from. Balao Usman, the Nigerian historian, maybe you know him very well. He uh -huh. was a lecturer in ABU. He was actually from Musawa. So when we go to the school, quiet. I said, what kind of school is this? Can we shout hallelujah? I'm not hearing you shout Hallelujah. Ah, very quiet. Then the <laughs> everyone says that is where they took it. To go to. <laughs> my mother departed. My father, Carl, they don't want will come and be looking for you. <laughs> that was the end. I didn't see them. Nobody came. I said, "What happened? Why would these people do this? This is not nice." Shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. The whole time finished, I got back home. You meet dangerous seniors in school. 
who fear no devil. They don't fear anything. That school molded me. I was saying something before then. What was I saying? I now remember when we, after some time in the school, then we now had quiz with a girl's school. <laughs> then the girls drove, you know they came, the girls came in numbers, I guess maybe not, maybe nearly up to 50 or so. Come and see students. Come and see boys. It's not, they saw life. They saw pretty girls. So many of them, some people will be shouting, ah, yeah! I, they've not, <laughs> I can never forget. Or they put their mother and whistle. Kai! <laughs> Shout out to I say, and you know what? The girls were about, they knew what they were thinking. Shout hallelujah. That is how God created man. I don't like John and John. I don't like that one. I see this man and look at Pastor Thompson and Pastor Dupe. Nature can never lie. You can see the fusion. Oh my, some things are ugly, man. Hallelujah. Uh, can you, everybody, turn, ministers, talk to your wife. And if you have a wife beside you, just turn to her, hold her hands. <laughs> Amen. That's not Kana. Shout hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. Uh, I'm not trying to provoke those who are not married. No, that's not my intention. I don't know. Some, I don't know what is wrong with me really today. Amen. Something is wrong with me. Don't think I'm normal. I have a different normality right now. My new normal, my new normal, my new normal. <laughs> amen. Say amen. amen. Shout hallelujah. Amen. Uh, amen. Go ahead, Pastor. <laughs> you, are, you are doing the heart of Jesus. Hmm. Yes. Okay, sir. Yes. It looks like a play. It's not a play. Spirits are being hacked down. These spirits will not thrive in Africa. Jack and John will come here and they will break up. <laughs> Yes, sir. Amen. They will see the beauty in the God of creation. Amen. So, sir, you are, you, are, you, are, you, are, you are displaying the spirit of Jesus here. Thank you very much. Thank you. Amen. Thank you, my brother. Amen. Praise God. Shout hallelujah. Thank you. Yeah. 
Yes. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Oh, very my kieto sen viri sondal pesu vejuna kasini paten. On a bavigeto sini asento fagi basken sintio sen zeva desken savestin so. I made it so. I made it so. I made it so. It is after the order of the beginning. It's after the order of the beginning. And the end will be the beginning. The end will see a restoration of that which was in the beginning. And in the beginning I made them male and female. It is a beginning order that will not be broken. It will not be broken. It will not be broken. For Satan will not remove the handprint of the creator in creation. Yea, male and female is the handprint of the creator in creation. The original design, the original design, the original design that will allow even the intention, even the kingdom, even the kingdom of God to reign amidst men. Male and female is an order of the beginning and it will not leave the earth. It will not leave the earth. It will not leave the earth because it is Christ and the church. 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 The most powerful union. The Christ and the church. Typified by male and female. The order of the beginning. The order of the beginning. There's deliverance in the house. There's deliverance in the house. For as many of my children that have been plagued by this evil and anti-beginning spirit. I bring you deliverance. I bring you deliverance. I bring you deliverance. Under this atmosphere, the scourge of that spirit is judged even in your heart. Is judged in your heart. Is judged in your heavens. Come into this place of liberty. Take the liberty that's provided even by the spirit and break free even from this anti-beginning order. Come identify with the beginning. Be a child of the beginning. Be a child of the God of the beginning. Come into the powers of the beginning. In the beginning was male and female. I made it so and so shall it be. Hallelujah. Can we shout hallelujah? hallelujah. There is a miracle already. Yes. Uh, God is healing marriages. I perceive God is healing marriages. Not so much. God is, you know, the first miracle of Jesus is wine. It's what, sir? So, you know that what binds, what keeps marriage on is wine. Testament. So Jesus has the answer to marriage. So why would Jesus first of all start with that at all? Is this the beginning of his miracle where Jesus, how you getting me? Jesus showed for manifested his glory. He manifested forth. So it means it was not just an ordinary miracle. So it was not just healing the sick or making, it's not the announcement, it's not the miracle itself that was Jesus' glory. What was Jesus' glory? There is a glory Jesus carried. So it means what turned that water into wine was the expression of who Jesus is, his ministry, his glory. Amen. Meaning Jesus was manifesting the Father's name 
it was showing the it was showing the through the miracle it was speaking forth the glory God gave to him we know that glory has to do with inner work not so but Jesus has to do that to testify to how important marriage is they initiated it. What God did from the beginning, nobody can put us under. If mosquito will not stop being mosquito, marriage will not stop being marriage. Can we shout hallelujah? hallelujah. Satan thinks he's stopping, but he's already been finished. He's been destroyed by Jesus. Are you blessed tonight, every one of you? I'm sure most of us are expecting the word and Jesus will, will feed us. He won't disappoint us. Can we shout hallelujah? Uh, uh, The two laughter shows they are actually laughing. Then those beings are terrible. Amen. Praise God. You know that scripture, if God be for you. How someone will say, well, lie here, but lie in scripture, they want to turn scripture. Terrible scripture. If God be for you. If God, if God be for you, what can be against you? Jesus, I submit to you tonight. I come here with a holy hall. I ask that the things you came with, I am no one. Jesus, Jesus. Jesus, in my heart, I step out for you to step in. Use me. We, I am praying that your people will, will recognize you today. They will see you, that you are here. You say you will come to us, and you have come. And you manifest yourself to us. Manifest yourself to us. Jesus, manifest yourself. You have manifestations even in your coming. Manifest. Father, Father, you have sent him. Cause your son to manifest himself to us. Thank you. Quicken me. Help me. Help me. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Uh, that brother just said Jesus uh, that God laughed that they are laughing hallelujah and said some other things again uh, is it what? it oh not so is it, is it they are making him eunuch uh, oh, no no Jesus has wife no Satan can make him you knock. Satan can make him. He's too small. He's an husband man. Can we say amen? 
Shout hallelujah. Uh, I just want to say this. If any couple here has, I'm saying it and I'm begging you for Jesus' sake, forgive each other. Hallelujah. Forgive each other. Don't let it last. Please, don't let it last. After this meeting, meet your husband, meet your wife, forgive each other. Hallelujah. Can we say amen? amen. I'm not hearing you shout hallelujah. hallelujah. I, I won't say more than that. I won't say more than that. Praise God. Um, praise him forevermore. Can we shout hallelujah? Amen. Amen. Open your Bible quickly to the book of Hebrew. Amen. Sorry, <laughs> uh, all of you, you know that I came to preach early. How many of you know? You sense the way I prepared, but I couldn't. Hallelujah. Amen. We give glory to God. Uh, Pastor Ayo, can you quickly interpret? God will bless you. And we appreciate you, Ayo. We love you. Please, amen. Quickly. Oshamangla bebeo fo dan dale agel. Embale andale andele ambage. Ambalege alangele angeli ango gali angeli ango langeli angli angli angla. Hey, ayoka muate te 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 te. Maite mote ne te. Imate te muate te mote 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 mote. Mito to maito maiko ni kaya. Eduna Kevin auto chauffe. Is to show face. Is showing face. Is showing face. He come to show. He come to show. He come to show. I come to show. I come to show. He go niko show. He go show. He go show. The mediator of the New Testament. The mediator of the New Testament is in your midst. The mediator of the New Testament is in your midst. Emi o come. Emi o come. Emi o come. I'm come. I'm come. I'm come. I'm come. I'm come. I am Jesus. J J J J J J J J J J J J J J J J J J J J J J J J J J J J J J J J J J Emini eje, emini eje, amini eje, emini eje. For ye periga popo, you have come, you have come, you have come to the blood of the sprinkling. You have come to the blood that speaks. You have come, you have come. I have come to you that you might come. I have come to you that you might come. I am Jesus, the mediator of the New Testament. By my blood, in my blood, through my blood, I come to speak my blood. I come to speak my blood. I come to show my blood. 
The things contained in my blood, even the blood of the everlasting covenant. I am the mediator of the New Testament. I am the mediator of the testament of the new creation. I am the mediator of the testament of the world to come. I am the mediator of the testament of my God. I am the mediator. I stand as mediator. I make a boko baka. I make a come. I come to mediate. I come to mediate between you and my father. I want to show you to my father. I want to bring you to my father. I am Jesus. I am Jesus, the mediator of the New Testament. See the Spirit. Amen. Open to the book of Hebrew, chapter 5. For I'll read verse 1 for every high priest is taken from among men in things pertaining to God to offer both gifts and sacrifices for sins. Uh, I just want to say this. I am not too late. This is the time the Father ordains that the word should come. And he has reason for doing that. Hallelujah. Amen. Uh, that he may offer both gifts and sacrifices for sins. Uh, amen. Uh, we can have compassion on the ignorant and on them that are out of the way, but he himself also is compassed with infirmity and by reason he of as all. He of he here of he ought as for the people, also also for himself to offer for sins. No man take this on unto himself, but he that is called of God as was Aaron. So Christ glorified not himself to be made an high priest, but he that said unto him, yeah, Today thou art my son, today have I begotten thee. Giving glory to God. Can we shout hallelujah? Can we say amen? amen. I'm hearing you shout amen. amen. Uh, gifts he offered both gifts and what's uh, sacrifices. Shout, amen. amen. Can we say, amen? amen. Hallelujah. Amen. amen. Hallelujah. I'm not hearing you say, amen. amen. Can we shout, hallelujah? hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Uh, I want us to see, um, hallelujah. Chapter 8 of Hebrew, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Now of the things which we have spoken, this is the sum. We have such an high priest. We set a right hand of the throne of the majesty in the heavens, a minister of the sanctuary and of the true tabernacle, which the Lord teached that not man. For every high priest is ordained to offer gifts and sacrifices. Wherefore, it is of necessity that this man have somewhat also to offer. Can we shout hallelujah? It means Jesus has something to what? And some, some, something, somewhat also to offer. Hallelujah. Can we shout amen? amen. Why? Uh, if we were on earth, it should not be a priest singing that there are priests that offer gifts according to the law, who serve unto the example and shadow of heavenly things. As Moses was admonished of God when he was about to make the tabernacle, for she said he, that thou make all things according to the pattern showed to thee in the mount. But now he obtained a more excellent ministry. By how much also he is the mediator of a better covenant established upon better promises. Can we say amen? I Hallelujah. 
So it's clear Jesus cannot um, perform priestly duty on earth. There is no tabernacle. First of all, the tabernacle of the earth is weak for Jesus to use. It's worldly, especially the sanctuary. So that um, betrayed the earthly to tabernacle. Even if it had um, a design of a divine order, but because of its sanctuary, its sanctuary is worldly. It's a very little first covenant had also the ordin ordinances of divine service, but a worldly sanctuary. Amen. That the intention of the tabernacle is true. What is the intention of the tabernacle? The old set of the tabernacle is to make men perfect. I'm not, not so, sir. And if there is um, perfection as intended in the law. The intention of the law is to make men perfect. The law wants to, but the, the tabernacle of the law of Moses was worldly. Why? Because um, when we say worldly, our worldly world here, our head terrain, praise God, uh, so it was designed after our own, our worldly act. So it was weak in performing the duty of something spiritual. So it fell short of the duty of perfection. Amen. Can we shout hallelujah? hallelujah. Uh, but while I was thinking, I just hope everybody's listening, um, that uh, the high priest ministry, the high priestly ministry, we always start from the sanctuary. I hope I'm talking. Then it will enter into the true tabernacle. Is that clear, sir? Uh, amen. The high priestly ministry, what? Now, now, Jesus was more than an abiding priest. Not so. Not so. Jesus was more than what, sir? Yeah. Amen. Shout hallelujah. I'm not hearing you say amen. Can we shout hallelujah? Jesus moved into heavens higher than the heavenly tabernacle. Amen. He was much more. We have a great high priest that is passed into the heavens. Amen. Can we say amen? amen. Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. I want us to shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Can we shout hallelujah? hallelujah? I'm not hearing you shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Can we say amen? amen. Um, I want just to I want to show us a pattern in the Old Testament. When I mean Old Testament, not necessarily the mosaic pattern. I want us to see the ministry of our Father. The ministry of our Father. Amen. Shout hallelujah. How many of you will say amen? amen? Can we shout hallelujah? The ministry, why did I call it the ministry of our Father? Amen. When God was creating man and God blessing man, that was a ministry of the Father. Amen. Now, um, the revelation of the mystery of the Father. The Father is the unveiler of God. The Father is who, sir? I'm not hearing you shout it again. 
Can we say it again, every one of you? Now, the father, the, the, the priestly this dimension of the father is different from every other high priest that had ever existed before. Now, the father never come into the true tabernacle to officiate priestly order. The father, what I mean coming, or I'm talking the father never ascended. The father is a dissension of God into the holy of holies. Amen. You get what I'm trying to say? The, what did I say, every one of us? The father is a condescending of God. God into the Holy of Holy. He's been a father since. Only he had never given birth to any children. Not until he found Jesus. Now that was I. Hallelujah. Now, uh, amen. If, can we say amen? amen. Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. I'm not hearing you say amen. That's what was shown to me as, the, as I was opening the Bible. I was saying it. Hallelujah. So, um, when they say the father walketh it at all, it's a priestly walk. The walk of a father is an holy of holy walks. Amen. Amen. Father, it's, it's very difficult. I listen, the father, you, you, can have, you can never see the father operating in the sanctuary. Seldom. He, he, because he's he is the living God. Hmm. Pastor Tosi yesterday, he is the true God. He is the living God. Amen. Who is he? He is the true God. The, let me say, the best condescension of the Father was at Sinai, not in Sinai, on Sinai. So what was on Sinai was not the ministry of the sanctuary. It was actually a ministry of the true tabernacle for Israel. That mountain Sinai, are you getting it? Foreshadows a, the New Testament mountain called Mount Zion. Shout Hallelujah. Now you can see the father condescending on Sinai to give Old Testament everlasting covenant. Amen. He gave them covenant. The father condescended to make a covenant with Israel. Hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. I hope I'm, am I making some spiritual statement? So you can see, amen, praise the Lord. Uh, we pass the sanctuary. We enter into the sanctuary to make covenant. Amen. Can we say amen? amen. Can we say amen? amen? To make covenant in the holy of holy. Our journey in the holiest is a covenant making journey. Not so? What did I say? Our journey where in the holiest is what's that? All of us say it again. I want you to say that. Our journey is what's that? And the end of that journey is that after we have made covenant with him when we have seen him as the true God. We partake of death. You agree with me? Hallelujah. We partake of death. This death is not death as a result of sin, but is a death in God we come into. Because the distance between the boundary between eternal life and life everlasting is death. Is a death thing. 
So what the father did when he was condescending, he broke the veil of eternal life into everlasting life to appear. So at the end of everlasting life, amen. Say that after me. Hallelujah. I'm not hearing you say it again. And in a kind of death, completely. And a sign of death is the complete, is the enclosure of the testimony in a coffin. You all agree with me that the Ark of the Covenant is actually what, sir? So, anyone that will be an Ark, are you getting me? Should die with his testimony. That's why a testimony is of no force until the death of the testator. So, no one, God will build his throne on as if he were dead. Now, testament is an everlasting material that can journey into eternal life. It's an everlasting material that can what, son? So you can see one of our passport and visa into eternity is that we carry the testimony. Amen. So, um, the, amen. We can have testament and it's not yet a covenant. You can have testament and it's not yet a covenant. And that is why we need a mediator for the covenant. Hallelujah. So you can see, I must be a true tabernacle. So you can see when the father condescended with everlasting life. Hallelujah. Just imagine that. He journeyed beyond eternity. Are you going to come into everlasting realm so that we can see his laws? We can have access to his law. And he won't journey beyond that. Amen. Shout hallelujah. I'm not hearing you say amen. amen. That is why you can, before God will say, uh, you are his friend. He must show you his covenant. Amen. Can we say amen? amen? How many of you are blessed by what I'm saying? Say covenant. covenant. Shout it, every one of us. Covenant. Now, um, new, what was a new covenant or new covenant? It connotes a sense of they want to make something new with some kind of people under a new era. But that's not just the only sense of it. Now, the new covenant is a covenant in God that he wants men to have. When scripture says, it's the light, it's in the law of the Lord. Now, David's works was beyond Moses. David's work was beyond Moses. David used Moses as a springboard to see what is in God. And in his law, David knew God as laws. Inside him. Because he inquired 
You can see, most David was not interested in anything. Not in the altar of gold, not in the altar of uh, incense, not in the brazen altar. What he went for was the thing. Where the, the testament are. Now, we can have a testament and yet not a covenant. Do you get me? How many of you are listening? I said we can have what, sir? And yet what? So a testament is a spirit. But it becomes a covenant when you have become a prophet. It, can, it will only remain a prophecy. It, can, it will only remain a prophecy. I can, they can give me testimony. Are you listening to me? And yet it's not written. That's the covenant. I will write my Lord in their mind and I will put it in their heart. How are you getting me? And, and I will be to them a God and they shall be to me a people. So before God can be called your God, he must have written a law in your heart and in your mind. Can we shout hallelujah? hallelujah. Then you, those are the people you call God's people. Oh, glorious God. Eh? Those are the ones you call who? God's people. Is there anybody hearing me tonight? Yes. Those are the ones we call who, sir? The people of God. Can we shout hallelujah? I love the word. If they are his people and God sought Israel, he wants them to be a people in Exodus. God wanted the Jewish to be a people Hallelujah. He brought them under the mountain. In chapter 19, he gave them the summary of the purpose of bringing them from Egypt to gather them. Are you getting me around the mountain? Like, an, with, he said, I brought you on an eagle wings and brought you to myself. I have, I have brought you to myself. I brought it to myself, now therefore, if you will obey my voice indeed and keep my covenant. When they say my covenant, they are in him. They, those things are in him. They were in him. Are you listening? Here, Jesus is not here. Moses was here. So Moses was mediating between God and Israel. Can we shout hallelujah? I love the word, they keep my covenant. Shout hallelujah. I, he called this my covenant. Of course, my covenant. Of course, my covenant. But when he was giving it to Israel, he didn't give the exact thing that was in him. It was a shadow of what was in him. Because there was a limitation place. The law was supposed to be a schoolmaster to the children of Israel. So, do you see it? I will, uh, he says, um, I, and you, when you keep my covenant, then you shall be a peculiar treasure unto me. Hallelujah. You will be a peculiar people. That's the word, sir. And unto me above all people. A treasure above all people. A people above all people. This is how God makes a people the head and not the tail. A people above people. A treasure above all people. For all the earth is mine. Can we say amen? amen. Have I said something tonight? I will explain. Don't worry. Amen. Can we shout hallelujah? I'm not hearing you shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Can we shout hallelujah? hallelujah. Say amen. amen. So it's clear God's intention was that for the whole of Israel to be his people. Now the only people God had as of then was one man. Moses was the only people of God. 
And when somebody becomes God's people, he will now become his God. And that was what was told Moses when he was about to be said. He said, who are you, my name? You want to know? He said, I'm the God of thy fathers. Fathers are people. Fathers are who, sir? I am the God of thy father. So if he's a God of the father, not so, then he's a God. The fathers are people. Amen. Who are the fathers? A people, a people. Praise God. I'm the God of your father, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. The God of the people. Are you blessed tonight? Yes, ah, hallelujah. I just hope, I'm sure everybody, nobody's offended tonight. I don't know. Are you telling me you are free from offense? Yes, just give me that encouragement. I beg thee. Praise God. Can I go further? Yes, hallelujah. Things are hiding here tonight. Let's, let's get them out. The Lord is here. God of your father. God of Isaac. You see him? Now you can see him. Moses was the go-between. Moses was taking people to God. Now, now, when God found him, shout hallelujah. So God took time with Moses. Shout hallelujah. Uh, Jethro house, the house of Jethro, the whole house of Jethro, the way it was designed, was both court and sanctuary for Moses. God drove him out of Egypt. God orchestrated his escape. Put fear in him to run. Pharaoh will kill you. So he escaped finally. Are you getting me? Uh, when he became an escapee or an escaper, when he came down to them, you know when somebody wants to just survive, that was what God planned for him. Anything they give to him, he will do. Oh, Father, you are welcome, you are welcome. No. And uh, is there any way you need help? Uh, for why not? The man has daughters. God has planned for him how he getting that he will have daughters. I'm sure when Moses first landed there, he wasn't thinking of staying here forever. He had plans. Moses had what, sir? Find a brisk. Maybe uh, let me grow and then my plan my way out. Maybe I will meet with certain kings of, uh, of uh, maybe king of Utopia or from certain kings and we will see how we can come back and are you getting me? Stage deliverance for Israel. They know me. But do you know what God did? God made sure he was not prospering. It's only God who, you have to go back to those days and see what God, he knew how Moses think and his powers. God knew Moses' thought and his strength. But Jethro House was a place are you listening? That was what? Not product, they will not create, they will not allow him that his creativity will be productive. God shut down Moses. 40. God made sure he went there when he was not 20. When he was 40. 45, 46, 8, 50, 50, 60, 60, 70, 70. All the visions died in Moses. After some time, at 80, you see him, he was struggling with, so that a flock would not be lost. Are you getting me? I heard that he was still shepherding the flock, 80-year-old man. 80 what, sir? Shepherding what, sir? Of who, sir? That must be a very meek man. A man at the age of 80, still what, sir? Shepherding, what's that? It was a what was he doing? Everyone of them, Kai, flock of whom? I want to ask you how old was Jethro over Moses? I'm sure it will be more than 20 years, amen. Just almost like a friend, some years old, he has seven daughters. Am I coming some years old? Seven daughters. And Jethro was looking at him when he first left. 
a wonderful man. How are you doing? Uh, that's Zipporah over there. And when men like that give you their daughter, you are there to stay. Are you getting the old men of the desert, desert wisdom? And thank God he was a priest. You know, it's not coincidence. Angel led him through the wilderness and showed him where to go and he was thinking he was escaping, not knowing that. He was actually running into the plan. All of us shout hallelujah. Everyone say Jethro's flock. Say that every one of you. I'm not hearing you. Say Jethro's flock. Some of us will never climb the everlasting hill pastoring our flock. We have to be taking care of Jethro's flock. Shout hallelujah. What did I say? Jethro's flock. Some people, if they give them flock of their own, that, that flock will capture their heart. They will never remember the holy heel of the Lord. So, but thank God for Jethro's flock. The Moses, after 40 years, finished the journey of the sanctuary. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. I don't know. I knew he finished the journey of the sanctuary. It wasn't longer there qualified for the most holy. So God, through the backside of the desert, wrote things in him. Am I communicating to you? Shout hallelujah. God was officiating him. They were leading him. Amen. Say amen. amen. The condescension of that angel was actually an appearance of God to Moses. God sent an angel to meet Moses and told him, I am that God, who God, your dad, your fathers. Hallelujah. Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Ah, wow. God. So you too, I want to be your God now. Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, they were men of the holy of holies. They've got covenant. How many of you believe they have covenant? They have what, my brother? Where? In them. God wrote things on Abraham's plate. Fleshy heart. God wrote laws. God designed laws on Abraham plate. It may not, look at me, it, it will not be exactly the cup, the very, very kind of everlasting laws in God's heart. So God has degree of laws. Amen. All of us shout amen. amen. Now, now, all in sons of the morning, they all woke up. Amen. What did I do? They woke up with laws in them. Is anybody hearing me? What kind of laws? That which is from the beginning. They were all everlasting laws. Sound amen. No one here. Say amen. amen. Everlasting laws are the beginning law, beginning, beginning, beginning. When you hear beginning, means everlasting. Eternal life is not beginning. Hallelujah. Shout hallelujah, but everlasting is beginning. Hallelujah. The beginning. So, amen. Shout amen. Can we shout amen? amen? Can we shout amen? amen? Can we shout amen? amen? Can we hello amen? amen? Jesus is amen. amen. Say amen. amen. So when God condescend to make God, men is people, 
He came with laws in his heart. You get that? What does he, did he come with? Laws. Where? In the heart. All of us must say that after me. Laws in the heart. When God condescended and was dealing with man, he was actually the revelation. Of, is it the living, the true God? He's also called the Almighty. That's another name for the true and the living God. The Almighty God. All the, I don't know if almighty means El Shaddai. Amen. Amen. Shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Abraham was 30 years old, 90, is he? Abraham was 90 years old and the Lord appeared to Abraham and said unto him, I am the Lord, I am the almighty God. Hallelujah. I am the almighty God. Now, almighty God is the summation of the two nature, both living and the true God. That's what almighty means. All the mind of the everlasting father. Can we shout hallelujah? So, he, and do you know what he did to Abraham? He appeared to Abraham. So the appearance is just like the way the Lord will come to us. So that appearance is actually the nature of dispensing the things that pertain to God. All God was doing to Abraham was that he wants Abraham to become his people. He wants him to become his people. Is it possible for me to labor tonight? Yes, sir. Oh my God. Is it possible? Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank God for Psalm 95. For his our God, we are the people of his pasture, the sheep of his hand. Today, if you will hear his voice, can we shout hallelujah? Is it possible? Say, um, it's possible. Say it again. Say, it's possible. Let me give me Genesis chapter 12. Hallelujah. Amen. Ah, praise God. Hallelujah. Jesus is helping us. Jesus say, while he was talking, while I was seated, he gave me light to talk about the priestly ministry of my father. So when he say, what I see my father do, that I do. Yeah, Jesus, there at least, you see, the father has walked it at all. He's been walking. He's walked through testaments. Am I talking to you? So Jesus was his actual work. When Jesus read Bible, he read it differently from all of us. Jesus was seeing the Father. At age 12, don't you know about supposed to be about my father's business? Amen. Look at what he said here. God. Now what blue? Look at me. Okay. Who preached gospel to Abraham? Who preached gospel to Abraham? Who? God of glory appeared. Hallelujah. For seeing that, is it, is there in the Bible? This is a God of glory that appeared unto our father Abraham. He said, and the scripture says, for seeing that God would justify the heathen through faith, preached before the gospel unto Abraham, saying, in thee shall all nations be blessed. So, hallelujah. So, are you seeing God too was a preacher? So, God too was preaching. Preaching 
Some people want to just prophesy, thus hear the Lord. But God was God preached. So don't ever joke with preaching. And the Lord said unto Abraham, Get thee out of thy country, from thy kindred, and from thy fathers, out unto a land that I will show thee. I will make thee a great nation. I will bless thee, make thy name great, and thou shalt be a blessing. I will bless them that bless thee, curse them that curse thee. In thee shall all the earth be blessed. Are we seeing that? Say amen. amen. These are everlasting promises. Hallelujah. God said, Don't get thee out of thy country and from thy kindred, from thy father's house, unto a land that I will show thee. Amen. I want to show thee a land. Amen. At the end, we all knew that Abraham knew that the land was not Canaan. And this land was the land he sworn to the fathers to give to them. I will make thee a great nation and I will bless thee and make your name great. Then you will be a blessing. Now you can never be a blessing until you become like God. For you to be a blessing, you have to be as blessed as God is blessed. You know that? Amen? And we, you know, is that the New Testament agenda? Blessed be God. Not so. Blessed be God. Who had blessed us with what? All spiritual blessings. Where? In heavenly places. In who? In Christ. Blessed be the God. God and Father. Of our Lord Jesus Christ. He is the God and who again? And Father of who, sir? Can we shout it again? The Father, God, and who? He is blessed as God. He is blessed as a Father. Hallelujah. Who art what again? Blessed us with what? Can we say that every one of us? We are, we are in Christ. Say amen. amen. I'm not hearing you say in Christ. Amen. So in him is the fullness of the Godhead bodily. I want everybody to say that after me. Shout it everyone. Now, fullness of the Godhead, bodily fullness. The fullness of the Godhead. So if we have Godhead, God has had fullness. When he mentioned Godhead, it means something filled, complete him. Amen. Something complete him. What is what completes him is fullness. So if there is a Godhead, shout hallelujah. Oh, my father. Everyone say, if there is who, sir? Then there must be a remnant that fills him. Shout hallelujah. And in Christ dwells where, sir? This fullness. Amen. Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Now, what fullness is, is what the Father came to show. The Father is the fullness of the head. Am I communicating to you? Who is the Father? I say he is the what, sir? Fullness of the head. When scripture says that we might be filled with all the fullness of God, that is everlasting, Father. 
That's God. That's the true God. And that's the living God. Can we shout hallelujah? I'm not hearing you shout hallelujah. hallelujah. I want us to shout hallelujah. hallelujah. I want us to shout hallelujah. hallelujah. I want us to shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Amen. Amen. The eternal God is our refuge. Beneath him or underneath him are the everlasting harms. I don't know if harms are pillars. Amen. Shout amen. amen. Say everlasting harms. All of us should say, can you show me your harm? All of you show me harm. Amen. Thank you so much. So, harm, cut off the palm is an harm. That's why you don't see a pillar having hands. From here to here. From here to here is your harm. So in your harm is a pillar. I hope I'm talking to him. Can we shout hallelujah? hallelujah. That's why those, those seven churches are harms. They are candlestick. They are pillars. The hands are stars. Is that clear, Sam? Everlasting harms. Underneath him. I want my brother. So underneath God, the head, God head. What is there, sir? Uh, everlasting harms. What is the everlasting harm? The true God and the living God. Alpha and the Omega. The beginning and Usa. Now, those are the pillars. You know, you don't want to so to grow. Are you the pillars? Say, Opo means pillar. What does, can you tell me what does Opo is carrying? The pillars, what? Carry the responsibility of the Godhead. Hallelujah. All of us must shout, Hallelujah. That's why the ark is not an ordinary thing. I mean, the ark of the testimony. Ark of the testimony has two pillars beside it. The stakes that they use in carrying it. The eternal God is our refuge. Underneath. Go and read any other translation. They watered it. That's why I like King James. They watered and underneath are the everlasting hands. Hallelujah. Underneath. Amen. Can we say underneath? underneath. So anything that would day that will stay under represent that where everlasting measure. Now this being has been the being, hallelujah, appearing in scripture. He's the one looking for men. Jesus said, my father seeketh. He's not now. He's been seeking. He's seeking beings who will have the true covenant and worship him in spirit and in truth. The spirit and, it, and in truth. Can we say amen? amen? So they are called true worshippers. Through worshippers. He called them through worshippers. I want us to say that every one of us, the true worshippers. Hallelujah. So you can see, <laughs> amen. True worshippers are men who have found their way, like Reverend was teaching us, to serve God in the Holy of Holies. That's where the service of God really begins. Now, there is no service, hello? There is no service, are you getting it? That does not end in covenant. There is no what, my brother? Shout it, everyone else. 
Amen. Give me chapter 9. Chapter 9 of Romans. Are, are you blessed? <laughs> Amen. Yes. Verse 3, let me start. I say the truth in Christ, I lie not. My conscience also bearing witness with, with what? With me? Within witness in the Holy. Bring bearing me witness in the Holy Ghost that I have. A great heaviness continually sorrow in my heart. For I could wish that myself were a cause for Christ. From Christ for my brethren. This is high. This is an high intercession for Israel. This is the state of an intercessor. Hallelujah. It can only take an, inter, an everlasting heart. It can only take an heart of flesh to demonstrate this. For my brethren, my kinsmen, according to the flesh, who are Israelites, to whom, to whom pertained the receiving or the adoption, the glory all of these things are the same. The covenant, now the giving of the law, the service of God, and the promises. Amen. Not only that, whose, I love them, whose are the fathers? I love the word whose. They are not who are the fathers. Whose means they own the fathers. It means the fathers is also a promise. That father is like, is the same as the covenant. That tells you that everything about this ends up in everyone becoming a father. So when God is dealing with men, and wants to make them a people, is interested in raising fathers. Now, God does not cut covenant with children. Amen? And God does not cut covenant with sons. Sonship begins in the court. When you enter the kingdom, you're already becoming a son at a level. When you are in the sanctuary, you are also a son. Now, before God will make covenant with you, he, wants, he will make sure you have become a father. Shout, say, everyone say, a father. a father. All of us, can we shout a father? a father? I beg your indulgence, please. Thank you so much. Whose are the fathers? Whose? It's not whom are the fathers. Mean what? Own. Who own the father? So that own the, the fathers is not Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. It means there is a fatherly thing, promise. The promise is also father. God wants to make them father because really, real friends of God are father. Well, when I say, who's are the fathers? It means at the hand, he is supposed to be your God the God of a father. Do you get me? Oh, hallelujah. Usa, God of Usa, of a father. Amen. Because he took his own fatherly nature to carry eternal status. So those whom will he will teach, are you listening to come under him? Amen are those who will become father. For many years, you know the word Honda. Stay Honda. 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 Come Honda. Thunder. 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 Then one of my son in, uh, in America sat me down. He said, Daddy. He said, God now analyzed the meaning of that thing to me. I said, what is it? He said, he said, Thunder. Honda. He said, he now connected it. It means thunder. 
makes under. He said he was put, he said the Lord just gave him light and said, if it is thunder and is under, then he occurred to him what is under God is life everlasting. So he now said, everlasting life is actually the thunder. Eh? I said, thank you, Oshie. I did, I did, I, I, but you know, I did not connect it. Pastor, the day I, the word came out of my mouth, thunder, 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 thunder. I remember that day, it was around that spot. I moved from here because people are not many. Are, are you getting me? I kept ministry. I intended to pray for Pastor Dimeji. I don't know because he was really, really sorry, Pastor. He doesn't want to start the work God gave to him to do in Ibado. And I knew, I said, the major one I used starting, he said, you will. Later he now came, I said, I'm starting, I'm ready now, sir. I said, no problem. So I now forgot completely, but Holy Ghost now took me from my seat and positioned me there. I now saw him hiding. <laughs> Where? In the midst of the people. Holy Ghost said, pray for him now. Immediately he saw me, something told me he knows. He said, it's finished. That is hiding place is no longer what, sir. A secret. Say amen. I said, okay. Uh, I said, then I called him immediately right there. I didn't waste time. I lay hands on Pastor. I knew I said, Your ministry, we have, your ministry is commissioned in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Not too long after then, praise God. I started speaking a tongue. I remember. I spoke in tongue. Sense, 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 And I say, Michael, or some sense, 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 incense, incense. That way, Pastor Maker, can you, I gave it for Pastor to interpret, as he pick it, he spoke the same word, incense, sense, incense. I say, ah, no interpretation. Then I gave it to Pastor Hennes Ofoku, or Pastor Hennes Paul, we, who now correctly interpreted it, that we are going to come into a sense of the living God. <laughs> Correct interpretation. Then not too long as I turn, then the word thunder, 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 thunder. The word started coming out of my mouth, thunder, 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 thunder. I say, hey. Then under, 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 under. Then from there, I, I found myself saying the word I think, Cast a parter. Cast a parter. Those are the words that came. Cast a part. 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 I sense greatly that the word cast a part is to cast out Satan. After the cause of everlasting life. It will trust out. Oh! <laughs> Let's read it together. The eternal God is thy refuge, underneath are the everlasting life, and he shall trust out the enemy from before thee. Destroy them. Cast what that? Cast apart. So it will take the thunder life to cast apart Satan. Trust what that? That's the word. is actually thrust out. But Satan doesn't want to be out. He wants to stay. So he can be in the flow of things. Are you listening to me? Are you getting me? That thrust out means he's no longer relevant in matters of governance. Now he's thrusted out of heaven. And then went into an heaven of men and stayed there. Because he knew that heaven is still important. He stayed in a very strategic place. He knew that God's agenda now is man. So anything he's doing must come through that terrain. So he now says, let's block God from here. Don't fight them. Don't fight God. You don't need to fight God. Just make men not to align. 
Don't build the pillar from earth to heaven. So you can see God coming so that men can rise as pillar. Don't you see? Immediately Jacob received the blessing and ran. Now he finally rests at a place called Bethel. Found a stone. He rested his head on that stone. A vision broke out. What happened? A ladder from heaven was let down. Then angels began to what, sir? Not what? Descend. They were what? What happened, pastor? It means certain angels were left here. They could not ascend for a long time. So Satan divided it. Are you getting me? So meaning ministration could not connect heaven and the but immediately Jacob Jacob took the blessing. Uh, you know, it took threefold fatherhood to get that done. Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. They needed Jacob for a for a spiritual connection. Can we shout hallelujah? I just want to say pillars. Say pillars. pillars. All of you shout it again. Pillars. And the New Testament is raising them. Don't you think so? Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Ask me, uh, what God wanted is that he will want, God is looking for churches yes, that will be fathers. Yeah. When you see churches, all those who are in that church, who are they? And what, how will their pastor be? A star. Amen. How will their pastor look like? Amen. Uh, and hallelujah. How many of you know? Amen. All my children, are you listening to me? You must get it right. We are going to have more churches. Yes, we must get it right. Churches are no longer something that are ordinary. Please understand me. Churches with this type of a word. It means location, time, how. There must be a discipline of enacting each local assembly. Every local assembly is not ordinary. We must get it right because they will be candlesticks. And we are already, these churches are already becoming candlesticks. Hallelujah. These churches are already what, sir? All of us, are we tired tonight? Can you encourage me? What can you want to say to me? Encourage me. Pastor, I know, I just, uh, Pastor, I like, but the Lord is my strength. Reverend, go. <laughs> Thank you, sir. I like that. Thank you for encouraging. Amen. Praise God. I just, everybody, do you agree with that? Yes, Honestly, you know, I wanted to start by 8.30. Not so? Immediately again, as I climbed to people, something just happened. It's like they hit me, bow. I started talking and dancing. So it's like they wanted to, it's like they don't, this world won't come the way we like. Even not the way I like. Is their world. Thank you for understanding. Uh, have you, I said fullness. Fullness of the Godhead. The fullness of the God, what completes the God head and we thank God God head God is arranged that way yes, I thank God that God has compartment if he is just eternal God he will never reach what's up if things happen that's all I, I hope I'm talking to you those who are not under 
everlasting, those who can reach the everlasting life will not be able to. Those who are, are you getting? Because if it's just eternal, there's no way he can condescend. He can only relate eternally. But you right now is not is not doing that. Is not relating eternally with the universe yet. The person he relates with is his son. Is his, that, that's the one in his bosom. I hope I'm talking to you. And that's the agenda that sons be invested into eternal life. Now, everlasting life. All of us say that again. Is actually the ministry of the Father. He met Abraham. How did God dealt with Job? Now, there was no advocate for Job. Not so. But there was a judge of all. Eh? There was a judge of all. So he was both the judge and the advocate. Nobody stood and faced God to talk to God. No sons could talk because they are not allowed to talk. So Satan was just bringing argument. It was only God. Hallelujah. Can we shout hallelujah? hallelujah. Who was God? It was God dialoguing with Satan. Satan will level accusation and, and buy and argue for a ground. All that Satan wants is a ground. It's been legal war since when making a people. Anytime God wants to make a people is a legal transaction. Now, making Abraham wasn't easy. Making Isaac wasn't easy. Making Jacob was not easy. Then making Moses. Now God's ambition is, okay, I'm not going to make many fathers. He multiplied them in Egypt. After five or four hundred years, he took them out, took them to the wilderness. So quickly, you can know God eagers for this. Now God counted on their suffering, amen, in Egypt, thinking, are you getting, I mean, uh, I, I mean, supposing that in Egypt, they will have learned, they will have learned a lot. Quickly, he gathered them at mountain. Give me that, hallelujah. What particular, yeah, in the third month, when the children of Israel were gone forth out of the land of Egypt, in the third month, the same day came they into the wilderness of Sinai. So, from Egypt to, hallelujah, wilderness of Sinai was three months. So they were journeying until three months. And what happened? Verse 2. For they were departed from Rephidim and were come to the desert it means they got to Rephidim before they got to the desert of Sinai and had preached in the wilderness. There Israel camped before the mount. They found the desert of Sinai and got to the mount of Sinai. That mountain, Gongo. Hallelujah. It was a journey that took them there. Can we shout hallelujah? hallelujah. And had preached in the wilderness and there Israel camped before the mountain and Moses went up unto God. Hallelujah. Moses went up. You can see God condescending. What was he doing? He, that mountain was actually the formation of the sanctuary and at the end and at the peak of the mountain begins hallelujah the manifestation are you getting me? The giving of the covenant. They didn't give the covenant at the base. Moses has to climb the mountain. So the mountain was actually what, my brother? It's a, it's a tabernacle. of. The, it was actually the sanctuary. The, hallelujah, that mountain was God's sanctuary. On top of it, what happened? True tabernacle pitched. 
right on top of it. So, you can see, it was on the mountain Moses saw the vision of the tabernacle. It was on the mountain Moses saw what, sir? So you can understand what Moses was doing on the mountain. Not so? Can we shout hallelujah? hallelujah. Now, what covenant did he get? He wanted the God's intention on the mountain. When you read the story, was not stones. It's people's heart. Sir, ma, before the stone, there was a book. Moses wrote things in the book. Shout hallelujah. It, now it took the blood, half of the blood, and put it in basin. Half the blood is sprinkled on the altar. He took the book of the covenant and read it in the audience of the people. And they said, all that the Lord had said, we will do and be obedient. But before the book, God brought their heart. But they fled. They what, sir? I'm not hearing you say it. Because they don't want, they could not entreat the words that were being spoken. Can we shout hallelujah? hallelujah? And they said unto Moses, speak thou with us, and we will hear, but let not God speak with us, lest we die. And Moses said unto the people, fear not, for God is come. Are you, then, are you seeing that word, is come? The Son of God is come. So this come has been an ordinance sin. It's a behavior of God. I call it God is come. You see it? Hallelujah. To prove you. And that his fear may be before your faces. And that ye sin not. You, you read somewhere today for us. That his all will be in you. So that you sin not. Then you can see the book of John. I, get it. I wrote on so that you sin not. Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. And the people stood afar. And Moses drew near unto the thick darkness before where God was. God was where? On the mountain covered with thick darkness. Can we shout hallelujah? hallelujah? God does not want us to sin. How? You sin. It means if his fear is before your faces. Hallelujah. And he had proven you. And that his fear may be before your faces. And that ye sin not. Can we shout hallelujah? hallelujah? So God was looking for their heart. Amen. But what did they do? They ran away with their heart. Then God did something. He wrote all the things he said in a book and read it. And then they said, everything that he has said, we will do. Then Moses sprinkled the people. He sprinkled the book. After sprinkling the altar, but and Moses again went up to the mountain. Immediately Moses went up to the mountain. They stopped obeying the book. <laughs> then another God came. Another God. Why will another God came? You as always say, why won't God kill that God? No. God does not fight gods. People brought the God, not God. The God did not come on his own accord. They brought, they love God. Are you getting me? And that God came. And when that God came into the camp, another spirit began to flow. When another God came, he would do things that are unseemly. 
they started dancing. They ate and started feasting. And then they what, sir? They threw wicked party. It led to, and the Bible says, and they rose up to play. That play was sex. Orgies. It's only God who knew what happened that day. I don't know what happened. God has to destroy them. Not only, they died in their tens of thousands that day. Neither let us commit fornication. Some of them committed. And fairly in one day, three and twenty thousand. One day. I hope I'm talking to you. Right when God came before God. I look at me, I want to ask you. You mean they were seeing the thick darkness and the fire, the amber, and then somebody is sleeping with a woman? Uh, no, no, are you getting me? You'll be seeing, imagine, let fire appear in our camp. You know you can do it. Look at me. God does not want to bring fire now. Something can stay on this camp. It's, it's there. It's there. Things are here. If they open it to the physical to let people see, this whole place will not be able to do service. Everybody will gather. Every police will come. Army will come. All manner of people will come. They want to stop the fire. People are burning. But it's not so much. Are you getting me? But God does not want to attract attention. But a time will come. He won't hold it anymore. Say amen. amen. And I even feel maybe God is in his wisdom is hiding you. So nobody will truncate what he is doing. Can we say amen? amen. Ah, hallelujah. Is anybody who like what I'm doing tonight? Yes, God will bless you. Amen. I never intended that all of us will stay tonight, but you see, hallelujah. Uh, let me just obey God. Uh, what was God wanting to do? He wants to make a people. Hallelujah. Then that tells us that thing failed. It means God can come and his project may fail. Not because it's not strong. People are not ready. Can we shout hallelujah? hallelujah. Not that God is a failure, no. But people, hearts are not ready. We give you glory. Amen. Can we shout hallelujah? hallelujah? I say people weren't what, sir? Ready. Instead, the worship of other God took their attention from being blessed. So God couldn't make them fathers. Transaction of making them a father failed entirely. They you now postponed it till 40 years after. Not so. He started getting them down. Are you getting me? He started within them until all of them fell. Now a new generation was born. And they circumcised them at Gilga. Everybody shout hallelujah. And they broke through Jordan. Another red, something like a red sea. That's the second way. They enter it. There they enter into the promised land. Can we shout hallelujah? I'm not hearing you. Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Amen. Can we shout hallelujah? hallelujah? I'm not hearing you. Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Uh, when you read Deuteronomy, the people he was talking, Moses was talking to at matured. They were almost fathers. All he was doing in Deuteronomy was expansion of the covenant of the Almighty. Check Deuteronomy, words in Deuteronomy. They were everlasting springs. Moses was mentioned. He was teaching them 
about the everlasting covenant. It was all the teaching of God. Moses, I get it. He was commending them to God. That the land is for God. Put God's name on the land. Hallelujah. That's your job. Put God's name on the land. I give glory to God. Can we say amen? amen. Now, uh, in Ezekiel, shout hallelujah, a prophecy concerning the land again came. Ezekiel 36, I will take you from among the heathen, gather you out of countries, all countries. I will bring you into your own land, then will I spring clean water upon you. You shall be clean from all your filthiness and all your idols. I will cleanse, will I cleanse you. My, a new art also will I give you, and a new spirit will I put within you. I will take away the stony heart out of your flesh, I will give you an art of flesh. And I will put my spirit within you and cause you to walk in my status. And you shall keep my judgment and do them. Now, you can see new, new. But after some, my, my, my. New precede my, my, my. That my, shout hallelujah, Everyone say, my. That is his, his covenant. My, my. What is my? What is new? Precede my. New is a covenant of the sanctuary. My, my. The covenant of the true tabernacle. Can we shout hallelujah? hallelujah. And you shall be. Look at it, sir. And I will put my spirit within you. And cause you to walk in my status. You shall keep my judgment and do them. You shall dwell in the land that I, I gave to your fathers. I gave a land to your fathers. Not so. You shall and you shall dwell in the land that I gave to your fathers. And you shall be my people and I'll be your God. There was a land God gave to their fathers. Not that land. Hallelujah. Can we say their land? The land God gave to their fathers? All of us, say it again. What is the land that God gave to their father? Everlasting life is a land. Omo, now, can you tell me the name of the everlasting God? Who can tell me? The living and the true God. Say it again. The living so it's clear, um, is it the book of Psalm? The Lord is my portion in the land. Those who are living is those who have everlasting life. Those are fathers. Fathers owned, fathers are living beings. Not so? He is not the God of the dead. Jesus said it. But he's the God of of the living, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the God of the living. Amen. When someone has been raised to become a living man or a living being, praise God, he has become a people that God can say, this is my people. This is the personality that I am a God over. I am their God. He can only be the God of the living, not the God of the dead. Can we shout that again? For God is not, God is not the God of the dead, but God of the living. Amen. God of who, sir? Hallelujah. So if we have land of the living, is the land. God swore to the fathers. Living, living men, living soul. Adam was a living soul, meaning he was an everlasting soul of earth. Are you getting me? And God was actually his God. 
Amen. How many of us believe that even after Adam died in his spirit, his soul did not die? God was his God. God was Adam's God more than Abraham God. Hallelujah. That living God, how you getting me? That living life gradually weakened from Genesis to are you getting is a gradual condescension of the texture of life. When it comes to when it came to Abraham, the strength of the living has actually reduced. Amen. Now, Adam was more living, everyone say amen, amen. than Enoch. Um, you get me? It means Adam, Adam was more of a father than Enoch. Even though Enoch didn't see that, but that doesn't mean Enoch arose like Adam. Adam, listen to me, Adam didn't need to raise. That's why they didn't talk about him. It was his children they were raising. It, it was who, sir? But the, he, what happens, sir? Eh? It was built. The way they build angels. He was raising, he was giving a living bread. So when he rose up, God was his God. Are you getting me? God was who, sir? Shout hallelujah. I want us to shout hallelujah. God was who, sir? All of us shout amen. God was who, my brother? Say it again, every one of you. Adam was the custodian of everything he had. He was in the land of the living. Hallelujah. That was the land God pushed Abraham to. For Abraham to get there, things are falling. When Abraham got to his father's, God said, get out of your father's house. Hallelujah. Abraham's dad couldn't obey God. He couldn't. God saw he couldn't. Then God looked for one of his sons, Abraham. And God saw his heart. This one has some powers. And God spoke to him. And God kept speaking to him. And he kept following God. He kept following God until he became living. There were things that ties men from God. You know, Abraham was separated. God planted Abraham in the land of the living when he finally separated him from Isaac. Because son, your boy, can separate you from God. Money, name, can separate you from God. These are the things Satan, what's that? Eh? Used to tie men in the land of the dead. And you all know the land of the dead is not hell physically. The land of the dead is here. Where the dead consciousness is dwelling. Where mind, souls, thought lives in. It's called what, my brother? Land of the dead. They see it, these angels, they see it in the spirit. They know the kind of inclination, how you getting me, that men carry. They know when you are cut off, when your, your, your pilgrimage and when your conversation is not a practice of men who are alive to God, when soul is not responding to God. So you can see, hello sir, so you can see the purpose of church is to make men 
living. Amen. How many of you are blessed tonight? Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. We're almost through. Praise God. Kai, hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. So you can see God engaging men. God taking hold of responsibility of raising men. And uh, God called God who quickened the dead. So all he did for Abraham was to quicken his soul until he began to live. That's why they preached the gospel unto him. Now, your name is not great when you have money. When you have affluence. My name is not great because I have churches. Satan has also captured ministry and minister. And make them think where names lie. It's, Satan is a bad guy. He can pollute anything holy if you allow him. I just want, right before our face... I saw the work of God on earth became hijacked. Men with bad heart became ambitious, overflock. I went so that the younger generation was there in a particular place. They were calling themselves Empire, Emperor. They are pastors. They say, Emperor, Emperor, Emperor. Why are they calling themselves Emperor? Because they also saw men who are building empire and that's what they want to obey. Emperor. When they call us Emperor. Emperor. Not knowing that a pastor is not even any king. A, a pastor is what, sir? Say it again, sir. Say it again, sir. Not emperor. That's why they can kill because of ministry. To become the president of Nigeria, you can kill the whole people. Are you getting me? So that you can remain there. And you won't have anybody to rule. (laughs) Hallelujah. Why that kind of ambition is devilish. Darkness. Say amen. amen. How many of you are enjoying Jesus tonight? Can I go further? Yes, sir. Is it possible to go further? Yes, sir. All people behind, are you blessed? Yes, sir. Now, touch somebody next to you, just bless the person in love. Even when you are going to wake the person or wake the person up. Hallelujah. Amen. Tonight is a, I perceive in my heart, tonight is a night of covenant. Tonight is what, sir? I, I, I am not just preaching and teaching you Bible. I'm preaching something somebody is doing. Tonight is a night of covenant. Can we shout hallelujah? Hallelujah. Can I say say amen? Amen. Now Ezekiel was a prophecy to Israel. Shout hallelujah. But not the Jewish alone. God had foresaw his own people. He transcended fleshly people. Israel of God is going to be the church. Can we shout hallelujah? A time is coming. This Israel will turn to the church. They will join the Gentiles. Can I say something? Even though they build the temple, Netanyahu is saying he's ready to build the temple. And it, they recently call himself Messiah. Yeah. So I said, no, no. He's, in Israel, he's allowed. Messiah means a savior. It's been their tradition. When you read some of other books, they talk about certain Messiah who fought for Israel. They don't like Jesus. Ask me why they don't like Jesus. He's done nothing for them. If you're a Messiah, you came. Romans oppress us. In fact, they kill you on the cross. What kind of a Messiah? You are not a Messiah. 
I found there was a Jewish rabbi. He said, go and study the history of Messiah. They all came and they helped us. This one did not help us. He did nothing from Israel. They were blind because they were carnal. They didn't know Jesus didn't come to save them from men. He came to is the ultimate messianic purpose. Our Lord fulfilled. So therefore, the, the message passed unto the Gentiles. Unto the times of the Gentiles will be fulfilled. Can we shout hallelujah? hallelujah. Can we say amen? amen? Can we shout amen? amen? Shout it again, every one of us. Amen. Can we say amen? Amen. To God be the glory. Hallelujah. To God be the glory. Hallelujah. Open your Bible again to Romans. Hallelujah. Israel in the flesh. To them pertaineth to whom pertaineth to whom pertaineth. Uh, hallelujah. According to the flesh. Who are Israelis? Hallelujah. To whom pertain the adoption and the glory. Now the adoption. When we say adoption, is actually receiving into the true tabernacle. Adoption is actually our receiving into the holiest of all. Am I communicating to you? It was an adoption for Jesus. Amen? Can we shout Hallelujah. The adoption day for Jesus, we don't know it. It wasn't. When God received his son to train his son. And after a while, God presented the son. That was not actually the receiving of the son. It's the glory of the son. First glory. And God raised him again. Hallelujah. And announced him again. Can we shout hallelujah? hallelujah? I'm not hearing you. Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Can we say adoption? adoption? What does adoption? Every one of you. You receive someone as your own. Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. The father received Jesus. Now, when the father received Jesus, amen. amen. Now, the father, instead of God giving him what they gave to John the Baptist. God had received many, many people into his holiest chamber and blessed them into holiest chamber and blessed them with things. But John said, what they gave this one is different. God didn't just receive him. God received him highly. God received him into the very original place that he has been speaking concerning with the rest of the adoption. So the rest of the adoption are a copy. Not so? Say amen. amen. I'm not hearing you say amen. amen. Can we shout hallelujah? hallelujah. Amen. amen. I said the words every one of us were a copy of how God will raise people, his own people for himself. God can only relate with the living. He can only condescend into everlasting realm. Hallelujah. He can't go beyond that. Can we shout hallelujah? I'm not hearing you shout Hallelujah. Can we say amen? So he has done that for men. Hallelujah. So that's why Genesis was heavier than Exodus. Genesis was heavier than Exodus. I presume Job was, he operated in Genesis. He wasn't an Exodus man. Can we shout hallelujah? Job must have been older than Moses. Is it possible, sir? Huh? Hallelujah. Sir? Even oh, oh, higher, older than Abraham. 
So, so uh, hallelujah, men of the East. Amen. In those days, men carried everlasting soul. Even his uh, con miserable comforters, they are not ordinary. They have the covenant of the Almighty. Can we shout hallelujah? I see their words. Their words are one of the miserable comforters said it. Receive, I pray thee the law from his mouth. Build his where? He said, Acquaint thyself with him now. Be at peace. Not so? Hallelujah. Amen. And he, be at peace there by good shall come unto thee. Receive. Now, this is be at peace. Mean come. Fulfill the sanctuary. Who taught us Prince of Peace? Pastor, Pastor you are the one who taught us about the realm of peace. He's saying, acquaint yourself with him. Be at peace means be fulfilled the, are you getting me? The sanctuary. Be a priest. Hallelujah. Reach the realm of the acceptable. Hallelujah. And what happened? And what will happen? Good. What shall come to thee, sir? Good shall come unto thee. Amen. Everyone say, good shall come unto thee. What is good? There is everlasting things. They come receive, I pray thee, the law from his mouth. Lay up his words in thy heart. And if thou return to the Almighty, then thou shalt be built up. This built up is not from the scratch. It's to have everlasting building. It's to carry the stature of the holiest. Then thou shalt put away iniquity far from your tabernacle. So you can't deal with iniquity except you have a particular building. Can we shout hallelujah? Amen. Say amen. Now look at this. It is not Job who spoke. But Job was the holiest among them. These were men who knew things of God. Can we shout hallelujah? Can we shout hallelujah? But something happened. We saw that God said, go, you have, they, the way they, they painted God in such a way that God is too holy. They were praising God and dealing with Job. Am I lying to you? That even the son needs to cry before, who is the son is not even holy before God. You? You say you are holy. They didn't encourage him. They kept smiting him. And God said, they've not spoken well of me. Go and meet my son to pray for you. I will never listen to you. But <laughs> three of them, they find Joe priest plays for us. <laughs> Shout hallelujah. Um, Joe prayed for them. Hallelujah. That's the kind of a priest who has finished his course. Can you see what? That's an everlasting. He became a true man under that testament. He became a true man under that. Uh, you see, who wanted to stop him? Satan. So Satan is jealous when you want to be a father. I want you to love that. That's in the called glory. Satan hates you to be a father. He will give you everything not to be a father. Can we shout hallelujah? Are we blessed? You people are, you are surprising me. Amen. So have you seen God's engagement with men? So the everlasting father, say it son, has his equipment from eternity. Are you getting me? His condescension is the reconciler. He doesn't just reconcile. When we say reconciliation, no reconciliation is done without quickening. You see how God quickened Abraham's soul. He was using situation and circumstances by faith. He was training him until Abraham gained life. What has our father Abraham found? Is it Isaac? No, he found life. He found God. And God became his God. He now became the people of God. Can we shout hallelujah? 
Can we say amen? amen? Hallelujah. Now, this ministry in the New Testament is what Jesus went to heaven to represent. The Father doesn't need to come down again. Another father has been raised. Now, I met a Rema student, an old Rema graduate. He's graduated in, he finished while, I think he had finished Rema, or while he was at Rema. Somebody wanted me to see him because of, it was around 2013 or, yeah, either 2013 or 2012, so sorry. So I met him in, so the person said we should talk. So I started talking about Hagen and things Hagen said, you know, bow down. That was in, that was in Dallas. He bowed and said, I am surprised that you even know things of Rema than us who are closer wow. than Hagen. Then he raised up his head. He said, I want to ask you a question. What is the kingdom? I said, the light of the revelation of the kingdom are not really shown. So I said something. Can you tell me the relationship of Jesus and the kingdom or the revelation of the Father and the kingdom? I still spoke. He now told me later. You know why I spoke to you about that? That one day in America, I think maybe in his room, maybe in Rema, he said, Jesus came into his room, hung in the sky, and spoke to him. My son and my children, they have known me as Jesus. But they never know me as the father yet. And are you listening? He said, they need to know me as the father. I am their father. Now it's high time for them to know me as the father. And that's what I want you to preach. He said, what is the meaning? When I now left me, one day we went out. He, he talked with me extensively. Hallelujah. And if, then he broke into Abrahamic covenant. We, he, talk, he was just talking revelation. But I presume he was looking for something. He wanted an interpretation of that. Not too long after that encounter. Everybody say hey, amen. I'm not hearing you shout hallelujah. Amen. It was during that season he took me to Rena. And the Lord spoke to me and said, He said, Ashu, when he took me to Rema Bible School, I went to pray in there, pray, prayer closet, where men of God pray. As I bowed down to pray, he said, Pray, Reverend. God said, I should bring you here. I prayed. I said, God, what should I even pray? He said, Pray this wise. Thank me for Kennedy Hagen. Thank me this way that I appear to the mother when Hagen was in the womb. And I spoke to the mother that it will cause me to bring me back. This child will be born. He will not die. You know, I said, can you say that? As I said that, then the Spirit of God began to speak. Instant. I change. Then that word home that you had tonight came. I'm going to take you home. You will go home. Fear gripped me. While the tongue was coming, I thought I would die physically. I said, what have I done, Lord? He said, you will go home. Then he said, you will see him. And I will cause you to see him. Then you will bring him back. Sorry, I have said that. I said, hallelujah. Amen. Shout hallelujah. He said, what? We'll bring him back. That is, in our generation, Egin has helped us. So we must, you see, if anybody wants to say, I am listening to Egin, that is what you are supposed to build on. The purpose of Kennedy Egin is so that the Lord will come back. So the coming back is not their rapture. Coming back, Jesus needs to come. Are you getting me? Sir, the Father, God did not come to the Jews. It, it came 
He didn't come to the Jewish or to Israelis. They weren't Jewish then. I hope you're not tired. All of you shout hallelujah. Please hear me. He never came to them for 400 years. Why? Moses. They won't understand it. Eh? They, they will not. They won't. He waited because they were children. But sufferings mature them. And God raised a priest who can really cause him to come. So he, he gathered them to come to their midst. They didn't understand it. Gradually it took about 40 years before they began to receive him in their midst. Hello, sir. After nearly about, let's say, 100 years, about 150, let me be uh, careful. Let's say about 200 years, since 2000, the Lord left the earth. Hmm? Because there were no people again. the Lord left the head. Generations change. It's supposed to be successive to keep him here. Next generation is supposed to know about what the past generation did. Now that is going to be our war. I would, I, that's why the Lord is concerned about you. When these ones are growing, you see some ones are coming. His angels pushing them. They are, it's a generational transfer. Before Jesus will come, nearly up to 10 generations will know him. It won't stop. Now, when, right now under us, we are overseeing nearly up to four generations. Those who are going to come behind us, we are going to see about four generations. Another one will be seen. So, what happened? It is the fathers in their midst that preserve the children. That's how they are. we are going to, and as long as they have fathers, ministry of Jesus is preserved. So please, for Jesus to appear to Hagen's mom, it means some things that held him here before has left. Satan pulled it up. Satan fought them. I hope I'm talking to you. Everybody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. I'm not hearing you say amen. amen. Can we shout hallelujah? I want you to get why Jesus must be here. And why Jesus should remain. He said it, I will come, I will manifest. He's testing you. Then when you do better, I will come and make an our abode. Do you think he will make his abode and go away? So it means we are supposed to get to a place in this world where Jesus' permanent house will be here. He, not only him, he can now bring the father and the father can say, okay, I think I can rest. But he will come and spy the land and tell the father, you can come now. No, wahala, are you sure? He said, come. I love the word, I am my father will come. It's like he has a key with the father. He has something. He knows how. He's the only one who knows how to bring the dad. You don't know. There, there are things Jesus knows of the father. We don't know yet. There are things Jesus knows now. We need to know. There are many things I have to say to you. But you can't bear them now. Of whom we have many things to say. There are many, many things to say of the Father. I, I say he's bringing his ministry. And he has... Is it this coming? He has started. 
it's going to come, it's going to come, it's going to come, it's going to come until he has manifested himself. Then later on, you go and say, it's high time. Father, you can come. And I and my father will come and make our abode. This is not rapture. A time will come, the father and the son, then you, he that at the son at the father also when you now have both the father and the son you have God when you have God you have both the living and the true God I will tell you the truth the person who manifests the living God more is the son when it comes to the true God it takes the two of them to show it. It's in the era of you being true. Because who the father seeketh is not just the living. is the true worshippers. Now, the entire face of Christianity is changing. If this is taking place, the rest of the churches can't remain the same. I'm not lying to you. The rest of the churches, as you are moving into life, certain things will begin to be put in place to rearrange the church. You don't even need to go to churches to change it. But because of their coming, the earth will burn like the oven. Things will occur. It will be difficult for Satan. Are you getting me? To tilt the church the way he's doing it before. Because of their abode. When God cometh, shout hallelujah. And when God is finally present, things are what, my brother? Uh, things will take shape. They will work on you fully to present you unto themselves. Yes. Eternal life. First of all, Jesus will present himself, you to himself, to give you everlasting life. Later on, both of them will present you to themselves. That's why the Bible says, first fruits to God and to the Lamb. Is the hand of our cost in a cost in everlasting life. Say it, son. First fruits to God and to the Lamb. And that is why they will learn a song. Which that, you know that that day farm for four thousand was actually a revelation of a new breakthrough. That was the day they were singing a song. When they have finished the course of everlasting life. Then up, up pass. I heard the voice of great thunders. Are you listening to me? I have the voice of from heaven as the voice of many waters. The voice of a, this is a great, not just thunder, a great thunder. And I have the voice of up pass, up in with the harps. And the song as it were a new song before the throne. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Before the beast, elders, no man could learn that song. No man, no man can learn it. No man. Everyone say no man, not men of the sanctuary. You must be redeemed completely in everlasting life. You must be redeemed out of the earth, redeemed from among men. You are not a man anymore. It means not a man's song. Hallelujah. It is the song of the creator. The song before beginning. Is an, is an hymn beyond the mountain of Zion. Hallelujah. Is beyond the mountain. It's an hymn of God. Eternal. That song is not just a song. It's a conversation. Yes. 
is a conversation. The what's that? Of the only true God. That song means they will now learn, begin to learn to know. It's a song of knowing the only true God and the Lamb He has sent. Can we shout hallelujah? hallelujah. Can we shout hallelujah? hallelujah? I'm not hearing you shout hallelujah. hallelujah. All of us should shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Can we shout hallelujah? hallelujah? Finally, I'm going back to Hebrew 5 to offer both gifts and sacrifices. That's what an high priest does, not so? To offer what, son? Both gifts and sacrifice. Can we shout that? Say, to offer. To offer. Say it again. Both what, son? All of us must say that after me. For sins. Jesus offered it for sin once and forever. Not so. Only one sacrifice. Are you saying? He offered for sins. That was the end. So Christ was once offered to be at the seas of many unto them that look for him, but he shall appear the second time without sin. That's the one I'm looking for. Hallelujah. Praise God. Once, once he offered for sins. It's there in scripture. If it's not in 10, yeah. By which we were sanctified through offering of the body of Christ. Jesus Christ once for all. No, it's uh, Amen. Where are the Hebrew students? You've been teaching Hebrew. Hallelujah. He offered it for chapter 10. Hallelujah. Let me see chapter 10. Okay. Chapter 10. Okay. Chapter 10. Show me, give me the chapter, you, the verse you gave me in 10 before. Chapter 10 of Hebrew, where it talks about uh, towards the hand. Is it chapter 10? Yes, it's 10. 10 14, yeah. It's for, but, hallelujah, 14. But this man, after he had offered one sacrifice for sins forever is sat down on the right hand of God. From hence for the expecting to all enemies be made his full so by one offering, he had perfected forever them that are sanctified. Sir, so, them that are sanctified. We give glory to God. Can we shout hallelujah? Who can? I want to explain something crucial just to put to tie it up together. Shout hallelujah. Can we say amen? amen? God will give you light. Thank you for staying. This is how it ought to be. Sin can go in 30 minutes message. Is we the church has not started dealing with sin. Miracle can come under five minutes message. Am I communicating to you? But if you want to take away sin, so what we are doing here is a, is a permanent healing for your life. We are, that's why we are serious. I'm not putting down on anybody, but I don't want you to address, come here with the mind of all that kinds of ministration. I need to show you this. We need to show you this glory of ministry. I want you to see it so that you can know what you are receiving. You can know what you are up to. This is the final solution to all your problems. I mean, I mean it. That is why you have troubles on the way. Because the enemy doing you knows that he will depart forever from you. This is the final. 
Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Now, uh, uh, Jesus purged our sins, sat down on the right hand of the majesty in her, expecting till his enemy be made fools to. But at the same time, they made him an high priest. If he's an high priest, meaning even though he's seated, he will not be dysfunctional. He will be functioning. Pastor Topo said to make that ministry work, praise God. Hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. I'm not hearing you say amen. amen. Things have to happen. Satan being an high priest amidst angel. There are many high priests. Me, high priest means ministers in the holy of holies. If you check Revelation 16, you see many seven angels in the holiest of all. At once, they are all high priests. Amen. Amen. So Jesus also wants to raise priests that are high who can handle holy of holies transaction. I hope I'm talking to you. Say amen. amen. Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. I'm not hearing you. Shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, what Jesus purged in heaven, amen, what Jesus purged in heaven are sins that will make you not to find entrance in the holy earth. Praise God. I'm not hearing you say amen. amen. Now, Jesus doesn't need to appear for you to enter into the sanctuary. Holy Ghost can do it. Hmm. Holy Ghost can take you from earth to appear in the sanctuary in heaven. Christianity is serious. Is, is it the design on earth that we think? Ministry, ministry, we go for ministry, minister conference, we carry book, are, are you, and then some white man will come and talk to us and say some wonderful things. Ministers must be this. Ministers must be that. Minister must be that. Are you getting me? I don't know. Maybe you understand, right? And we are not conscious of how expanded ministry is. Now, error. All manner of things. Satan has thrown many things on the road. When you started saying something, the minute you started saying something, they will say, hey, be careful. Error! No. If we fear error, we'll forever be in trouble. I don't believe in error, and I don't want to go into error. Our senses should be correct enough not to enter error. With the fear of the Lord and awe in our heart, and we follow the principle and guidelines of God has given us scripture, we will not enter error. I hope I'm talking to you. It will save us from error. Can we shout hallelujah? <laughs> Pastor Thompson, I can see a lot of ministries. I see ministries, ministers entering some error. And some of them I feel is an ambition to be the best in the body. Some of them want attention to themselves. When a minister is not cleansed of that iniquity, you will make error. When somebody is correcting everything the church is doing, you don't see anything good in the church. Your own is the only one. Telling me everything is bad. Jesus was not born by Mary. Am I communicating to you? What are you trying to do? So for example, somebody said, when the, one of the 24 elders said, shout hallelujah, behold the lion of the tribe of Judah had prevailed. That that one, we should have said it is not scripture. Jesus is a lamb, not a lion. He said those, one of the elders, they are Jews. I said, so people who sat around the throne, it's clear who brought it. When I brought it for some time, I said, what kind of a thing is this? In the name of revelation, you know the two witnesses at Olive Mountain? This same Jesus, he said that, that statement is, called, is, is not correct. He said they are men. We are higher than angels. 
Abba. You are pushing new, new creation realities teaching too far. Too far. Too far. You think you know one, with one light you want to scatter the rest of the light. And that thing you call light is not even light. Hey, too far. Ah. Ah, ah. Somebody is bringing damnable heresies to himself. So, my, someone who's like a father to me in the middle, who got me born again, we are talking, and my wife asked him, You know this person? He said, Yeah, he came to visit him. I said, Why don't you correct him, sir? <laughs> he said, One thing is, the spirit has to speak to you. Well, people are set. You don't, don't correct people. You have to wait on the Lord. He said, Some people don't want to change. My, my wife now said, That is true, sir. So, we are not going to enter error in Jesus' name. Finally, um, Jesus, say Jesus. Jesus. Finally, say Jesus, Jesus. Is, the is the minister. Is the minister of the true tabernacle and the minister of the sanctuary and the true tabernacle. Jesus can condescend more than the Father. Jesus comes down into the sanctuary and takes sons from the sanctuary into the true tabernacle to make covenant with them. Can we say hey, amen? He is the mediator. Is the mediator of who, sir? Of the new covenant. Can we say that after me? Can we shout it again? And to the blood of sprinkling that speaketh what, sir? Better things than who? Blood. Can we shout it again? Blood. blood. I, I want to just explain a little bit here. Say blood. blood. All of you must say that after me. Blood. In 10 minutes, we should be close. Say blood. blood. Say it again. Blood. Shout it again. Blood. Can we shout blood? blood. Say it again. Blood. You can't find this blood except in heaven. You have to ascend above the mountain to, to get the blood. For this ministry of the blood to be effective, you have to come to this blood. You have come to the blood. You have to come to the blood. If you are healthy, you, you have not come to the blood. So there is a need for ascension to come to the blood. You have to come to Jesus. Amen. Say it after me. You have to come to Jesus. And then you come to again. You have to come to the blood and come to God, the judge of all. Is that clear? Say God, the judge of all. God, the judge of all. Say it again. God, the judge of all. You can come to the general assembly, but you can also come to the church of the firstborn. Hallelujah. Which are written in Heaven. Everyone say heaven. heaven. All of us say that after me. Heaven. Maybe if I sit down like this, we'll call attention of some people. Say heaven. heaven. There is a church written in heaven. He's not talking about church who are dead. Christians who are asleep. They are here, but they are written in heaven. Jesus said, don't rejoice because demons go out in your name. Re rejoice rather that, so that your name is written in heaven. Those who have changed abode to heaven. Amen. Amen. Now, they don't write you in heaven until your course of the blood is finished. Until the course of the blood is finished. Not so. You are not written in heaven until you finish the course of the blood because written is to be engraved in the heavens. Not so, my pastor. Shout hallelujah. 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 Can we shout hallelujah? hallelujah. Now, our children of the sanctuary, hallelujah, that are brought into heaven for covenant to be made with them 
uh, spirits of just men made perfect. For them to become, what's that? The word just men. Just men made perfect. Just shall live by faith. Who have finished faith cause and then now made perfect. That is the perfect man. A perfect man is the one that will, will the ministry of the blood availed. Ministry of the blood will avail. That's the person that can obey the blood. And that is what Jesus did. Jesus purged the sins. Those who have ascended, their sins in heaven have been purged 2,000 years ago. I will tell you the, the legal aspect of that. If their sins are in purge, he has no right to deal with them. So, their sins being purged has a relationship of him being sat. For him to sit of the right hand side. Shout hallelujah. For him to what my brother? Meaning he assumed the responsibility of those who will come up. I get it. For him to redeem every believer on earth. Everyone. Your sins were purged. But you see. There is a receiving of the purging that has been done. Now, the people must be purged. Not just the sins. Sins resides in the altar in heaven. Because heavenly things also must be by the remission of sins. But with a better sacrifice. So Jesus didn't just purge men wouldn't just be able to purge men. He has to purge altars, utensils, things that are in heaven. Jesus went there, used his blood to purge it. He purged it. Why will he purge it? A print. Somebody sinned. Say it again, sir. And the person sin are sins of the beginning. What who sin is a spirit and is seen in the holy of holies. Satan's sin was registered, and Satan's sin that is seen, everybody shall became our sins. It became it taught us how to sin. I hope I'm talking to you. Shout hallelujah. Now I want to tell you the greatest work. Of principality and power. Rulers of the darkness of this world. Spiritual wickedness in high places. Including the devil. Is sin. Each of those spirits. The when we say sin. Sin is their core life. That is what they want to teach you. It's not just the affliction. with To afflict men with sickness. Is their, it's not their primary work. It's sin. is the core work. When they see you are changing from not being a committer of sin, they get angry. It means they are losing grip of you. Can we say amen? Amen. And Jesus purged it. Jesus deal with it in the spirit. Jesus purged it. Like Moses purged the altar. He sprinkled the altar. Jesus sprinkled the altars of God. He he sprinkled with blood both the tabernacle and the vessels of ministry. And almost all things are by the law purged and without shedding of blood there is not what, sir? Jesus having entered into the heavenlies. You see, it was there for now. Take, give me 11. Hallelujah. Give me verse 11 of chapter 9. Praise God. But Christ being come an high priest of good things to my greater and a more perfect made with hands that made not with hands, that is not of this building, neither by the blood of goats and calves, but by his own blood, he entered in once into the holy place, having obtained what, sir? 
So it means purging is redemption. To take away sin is redemption. Can we shout hallelujah? For he the blood of bulls of goats and the ashes of an eye for sprinkling the unclean, sanctified to the purifying of flesh. How much more shall the blood of Christ now, look at it, he purged the altar before he purged the people. Everybody say, he purged the altar. Now, this not, it wasn't the same time this blood will purge your conscience. How much had the blood of Christ through, through eternal spirit offered himself without spot to God? Purge your conscience from dead works to serve. Now, when is a living God is the next service of the sanctuary member. Now, but you can't, be, you can't have access to the blood or sprinkling except you are a son in the sanctuary. Meaning now you are perfected. You are matured enough to handle the ministry of a father. I hope I'm talking to you. Can we shout hallelujah? I'm not hearing you shout hallelujah. I'm not hearing you shout hallelujah. Now this is the ministry of Jesus. Say amen. Can we shout hallelujah? So Jesus didn't just porch the altar, porch the utensils in heaven. Jesus now waited for the time for the people to come to heaven, for them to ascend to where the blood is, to purge them, to serve the living God. Everybody say, I will serve the living God. Why service? Because without service, you won't make covenant. Amen. Now, giving of the law, the giving of the law, law, the giving of the law, to give the law. Say, son. The law. Do it, sir. Say it again. The law. the law must be given before covenant will be made. Because law is commandment. And commandment must be done. When doing commandment, you are serving God. Service is the response to commandment. That's how we generate service. Service is what, my brother? But you cannot serve the living God for his covenant's sake except conscience are purged. Hallelujah. I'm not hearing you say amen. amen. Then you can now see again that Jesus, as an high priest, gives you two things. Bread and wine. That's what he wants to offer to you. If you ask me, what would Jesus offer to me? Blood and wine. Flesh and blood. Is flesh and blood. Amen. He will offer to you is flesh and blood. Say that after me. Say that again, every one of you. Now let's see book of finally book of Peter. Elect according to the foreknowledge of God the Father through sanctification of the Spirit unto obedience. Unto obedience. The next thing and sprinkling of the blood. These people are sanctified. They are sons of the sanctuary. Church of Hebrew is sanctified. Peter wrote to Hebrew. Paul wrote to Hebrew. James wrote to the Hebrew. I'm a lying to you. He wrote to people who are sanctified. Amen. For sprinkling sake. First of all, for obedience. Availability of the blood. Can we say amen? amen? I'm not hearing you shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Say sprinkling. sprinkling. First of all, obedience. Obedience. Obey. Then they give you blood. So the first gift is obedience. Obedience is the gift they give to you. What is it means? Commandment is a gift. Bread. Is flesh. The bread is gift. Blood is sacrifice. 
You have to kill the flesh to get the blood. You, you can't get blood anyhow, except sacrifice is made. So sacrifice is blood. Gift is, is flesh. Blood comes after flesh. Are you hearing me? Blood, what's that? You know, I took time to explain the temple. When God is giving himself to us, in total, he cometh to heart as a gift and then sacrifice. The intention of God is not to use any other temple to cleanse men, but to use himself. So he became flesh. So that that same thing that God is in everlasting nature, in the form of God, was translated as a man. So that we can assess him. And when we assess him, we will assess God. They want you to have an understanding of Jesus, come to flesh. Then you will see the reality of flesh. You see the reality of blood. You will gain sense. Now, you need purging of the blood to be able to do that comprehension. The blood upgrade your consciousness to know how to take the gift and how to use the blood. Can we shout hallelujah? hallelujah. I'm not hearing you say amen. amen. So God gives you gift. Gift is light. Mm. Every good and every perfect coming from above, from the father of light in whom there is no variableness nor shadow of turning. So the father of light is Jesus. He has become what his father is. Say amen. The father of light is Jesus. Say that after me. Shout it every one of us. I'm not hearing you say that. So God, first of all, when we say God is light, Hallelujah. God is light. It's not all about God. God is also life. So life. When say God is light, God is bread. Hmm. Am I communicating to you? God is bread. Shout hallelujah. There's something about bread. Bread is light for conversion. When you eat it, you have light. When you break bread, eyes are open. Can we shout hallelujah? When you say, God is light. God is bread. God is flesh. Immediately he gives God commit to us as light. Amen. We should walk in the light. The light shineth in darkness. What happened to darkness? Darkness comprehended it not. Walk in the light. Then you would... When you, why am I supposed to walk in the light? What is my responsibility to light? My responsibility to light is that I should disobey darkness. The only answer, Pastor Thompson, is to darkness is who God is. And that's what Jesus has come to bring. That this is the message. Yo. God is light. And what? In him. is no what? Keep, when you keep count, where, your transaction with him, you discover that him and darkness are not the same at all. God is light and in him is no darkness at all. If we say, when light has come, when light has come, immediately, light. Say light. light. Shout it again, every one of you. Light. Ruminate around us. Overshadow us. When light comes into our understanding, oligos and cyclos. Oligos is the house of communion. In the Holy Ghost, you will see the Father. In the Holy Ghost, you will have the Son. Shout hallelujah. God shines the light. That's what it's called fellowship. Now, Holy Ghost can come upon you and you can have fellowship, but not with the Father. Fellowship is not instituted at this rate. 
When in your iniquity is not ready to be purged. When you say you have fellowship at this level, it means you are ready to relinquish your iniquity. God is light and in him is no darkness at all. If we walk in the light as he is in the light, then we have fellowship with one another. We need to have fellowship with one another. When I am obeying him, he talks to you. He has fellowship. He reasons with you. He has fellowship with you. You comprehend with him. Meaning you have come up, you have come up to a reasoning with the Father. I hope I'm talking. You can take judgment. To take judgment is to take light. Can we show you have fellowship with him? When you have fellowship with him, then there is something somewhere is driving you to. Then he releases blood. He releases blood. He will give you blood. He will sprinkle blood. The reason for blood is so that you will have life for life. Yes. Sin is life. This sin is everlasting life of an angel. It's not easy for people to break it. Pastor Thompson, it's not able to break covenant with it is what? Is there by covenant. So God wants to remove it. And the only way to remove it is you have to mature to take judgment, have understanding, walk in the light. When you have walked in the light, you have done obedience. What comes next is sprinkling. When you have obeyed, then sprinkly hoko. And when sprinkly hoko and you submit, you can't do sprinkling without obedience. You cannot do sprinkling without obedience. Hallelujah. Obedience is an halfway thing for the blood. Obedience means I come ready to take your blood. Because some people have not resisted unto blood. Still striving against sin. So the least, listen to me, to resist is to get to the blood. Blood means life. Where sin is really rooted, sin is life. If you want to take sin away, how you listen? sin is presented by the devil as life. Satan took sin. Are you listening to me? And provided it to us. Life we can gain from. Why men will give their soul to sin is because it's profitable. I feel some people are hearing me today. Some people are understanding me. Now when blood is offered, it's not every priest that can offer blood. Am I communicating to you? Sir? Those priests who offer bread are liable to offer blood. Shout hallelujah. A priest of bread is a priest of obedience. A priest of blood is a priest who break covenant. Is a priest of life. Shout hallelujah. I'm not hearing you. Shout hallelujah. Somebody who has done obedience we eventually weaken and cut off sin. When they say cleanse you from sin, it's not that you sit down. No. Eh? You, you participate and sin goes. What is blood? Hmm. Ask me. What is blood? Blood is life. Life is grace. Hmm. Now, when they show you life, you see how great life is. Better than sin. Then you make your choice. That's it, sir. You make what, my brother? Shout hallelujah. Now, you never had choice. It is sin before. Sin was the only choice. When people pray, they pray to God. They are asking him for sin. Lord, help me. Give me this. Give me this. That, and what you are asking in prayer is for your life, which is constituted in sin. But God said, oh, how can I help them? He will bring you further, raise you up to a place where you can now take blood to lose that life. When you lose the life, you will gain it. 
A time come, you are no longer afraid of death. You are no longer afraid of the fear of death. Fear of death is the law of death. The law of death. The strength of death. Hallelujah. He said the, the law of death is sin. Sin. That tells you if you don't, you don't know, you will miss out completely. So sin has paraded, masqueraded itself as life. It is sin who makes us to fear not to make covenant with God. I remember when I was a young boy, when I'm playing something about six, seven, supposing you be a preacher, I say, oh, oh, I will not. Something say, if you force it, if you dare force that thing, you, it will force you to become a preacher. So I will pretend, okay, okay, okay. Something was, as a child, how, how did I know as a child? I know the life of a preacher is a bad life. They suffer in vain. It's a hard life. So until my friend now told me the same thing, that that thing will come and tell you you will be a preacher. I say, oh, oh, oh. So I say, if you force it, it will force you. So me too. I, he said, he will just say, I agree, but he agree in pretense. <laughs> say him. It means even a child, no sin. Yes. They know it. Why? They see life. One boy came, my junior brother was with him, a pastor of mine. And, and Pastor Helen's pastor. So my junior brother, that time we're about to get married, so he, he camped in pastor's house. This, this is the end of this message. And then he told the boy, what are you doing? What do you want to be? He a pastor's son. I want to be a businessman. And the pastor, your daddy is a pastor. He said, oh, no, no, I don't like pastoral work. That boy, I'm not sure he was up to 10. He said, why? Oh, pastor's. They only have money on Sunday, not every other day. And I don't want to have money on Sunday. <laughs> Shout hallelujah. That is only on Sunday money. You know, that was a day I was in their father's car to pick them from school. And the father went out to pay their school fees or something. And while, uncle, I said, the girl and the boy, two of them. Uncle, I said, yeah, what's the problem? Are you okay? Can you pray for us that Father will buy by school for us? So I'm wondering, they have learned a life, even at that age. Now talk about someone who is 70 years old. It's not easy to break people forth. Is there anybody who understands me tonight? Did you understand what I'm trying to say? So to take sins away is to give me everlasting life. That tells you, people are not lasting because of a kind of life that is hiding. I don't know. Did you get that, sir? Pastor Thompson, people are not what, sir? Because of what, sir? So somebody can be filled with the Holy Ghost. Somebody can speak in tongues. Somebody can be faithful. But somebody has not break covenant. They've not brought you. have not gone to heaven to break covenant. With what, sir? With sin? And, and what, sir? And hell. Can we shout hallelujah? hallelujah. But uh, we are going to have a generation of people. Yes, Next year, you are going to begin to see some kind of fruit. Yes. It's too clear to me that I have seen a, we've reached a peak where the water will fall. Yes. Am I communicating to you? Hallelujah. hallelujah. Say hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are approaching sinlessness. I am not saying that I don't have sin, but I say we are approaching. Somebody is doing it. And for him to be around, if Jesus is here, he's only one. He has to come to our midst to get it done. Don't you think we have an advocate? We have somebody who pray for us. Can we shout hallelujah? Now, so this anamnesis is to... Uh, is to make clear that somebody has come. Somebody has come and you have come. 
you also have, the first message was, is you have come. And then what follow? He has come. You have to come for you to come. Come nearer. Draw nearer and I will draw near. What does that mean? Ascend. Then I will meet with you. Now, God, Jesus doesn't come to earth. What was it? So you see this, our meeting, all of you that are seated, is not earth. Your soul is in heaven. Say that. I want you to say that to your soul. You have to say that, every one of you. Pastor Clay, will I be justified to say that? With all this preaching, all this preaching, all this unveiling, you can't tell me God is talking to people who are earthly. All of you, your soul, where is it, every one of you? Can we shout to say, my soul soul is not here. It's not not earthly. Now, here, say here, Here. not Fed Plaza, our bodies are gathered here, but our soul, our soul is in heaven. My soul is in heaven. That is why the high priest can come. If the high priest isn't seeing your soul in heaven, you can call him. He won't come. You have actually, you have actually ascended. That's a he too, he has come. Hallelujah. They can tell when souls that arrive at Zion, their ministry is prepared for the soul to make covenant. Uh, next, this year, as from, the, this is our this year. As from now on, all of you, you have heart to break covenant. You will break covenant. That's the greatest prayer. Amen. I say you will break covenant. You will break covenant with the adversary. Can we shout amen? Amen. All of us should shout amen. Amen. I say you will break covenant with the adversary. Are you hearing me? As from now on, many of you, you will make progress. In life. I say you will make progress. I say you will make progress in life. You will move forward. You will move forward. You will prosper. You will be in health. Your soul will prosper. I say your soul. I wish above all that be ye be you prosper and be in health even as your soul prosper it. I say your soul will prosper. Amen. Say my soul will prosper. My soul will prosper. What does it mean for my soul to prosper? Is a whole lot. Many soul hardly prosper here. Body has prosper. Body has not, it's not body that is even prosper. Things have prospered around you but not you. Because physical, physical prosperity does not make your body healthy. For body to prosper, soul has to prosper. How many of you want to dwell in the land of the living? And do you know God's reasonable service is for you to generate a living body? Soul is living? When say living God living soul when I mean living soul is not an ordinary soul it's not like that of Adam that soul is called spirit, living spirit it's a soul but it's a living spirit when a soul has become spirit amen Amen. God's soul is spirit God's spirit is spirit (laughs) He called it my soul, shall not have pleasure in them. Who doesn't want their soul to be spirit? A soul becoming devourable for Satan when he can become more spiritual than the spirits of the angel. Even Satan divorced spirits in heaven. He divorced seraphims. He ate them. Had them for lunch. The devourer. 
but your soul will come to a place where his teeth can't crack anymore. Yeah. Is anybody shouting amen for that? Yeah. Your soul will become undefined. Yeah. It becomes un- incorruptible. Yeah. I say you will. The soul becomes, uh, it won't fade away. Yeah. I see it. Angels are fading. Lucifer Highness, man, they are fading. The word old was the old man came from them. They invented it. Angels we are in hold. Satan is getting old. They call him that old serpent. But you, you will not, your years shall not fail. Your soul will not fail. I say your soul will not fail. Ah, someone say, what is what kind of blessings, Reverend K blessing? This is the real blessing, oh. You should thank God that I am blessing you this way. I'm not saying you buy car, my days, that. They will come. Car is nothing. Shout hallelujah. I said they will come to you. I say your soul will not fail. I say you will not falter. You will not stumble. You will finish your course with joy. Can we shout hallelujah? You have stayed under this atmosphere. Thank you for enduring this message. After 9.30, I started ministering. You are still here. This is around 12.30. Not so. You are hearing God's word. Amen. Amen. It's not an ordinary feat. Every blessing of his stare, I say you won't miss it. Amen. I have tarry, we have tarry before the presence of the Lamb. I say the blessing that cometh from the Lamb, the dew upon Mount Hamor, we never had elude you. Amen. Can we shout hallelujah? hallelujah? I'm not hearing you say amen. amen. You know they bless Jacob. He said he will give you the dew of heaven. Isaac bless Jacob. He will give you dew of heaven. He will give you plenty of wine. Amen. He will give you corn. He will give you fat of the... He will give you wine. Amen. He will give you all these things. Uh, you've not been recording progress as from today. You record progress. Yeah. I say it, you record break program. Yeah. How many of you know that Satan is a cause? God is a blessing. God is the blessing. Satan is the cause. John looked at the city. He looked at the inside of those believers who are prophets, those sons of God. He said, I see no cause therein. But the throne of God and the Lamb. Blessing. I say blessing. Your heart becomes the throne of blessing. Bitter fountain won't flow out of your heart. Sweetness. Good waters. Living water. Are you thirsty? Is it out of your heart shall flow rivers of the living water from you? I say from you. Take yourself, put your hand from me, from me, from me, from me, from me, from me. me. I say in the name of Jesus, have insight to trap, to stop wrong flow, wrong thought. May your imagination be upgraded. As from now on, thoughts on the fire. Thoughts which are not of good report. They will never flow out of your system. In the name of Jesus, it will make in you a well that will spring unto everlasting life. Are we shouting amen? Amen. Shout hallelujah. I'm not hearing you shout hallelujah. hallelujah. I'm not hearing you shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Oh, Reverend, I'm not comprehending. No, you are bound to comprehend. You are bound to comprehend. In the name of Jesus, I break hindrances. I come against the works of Satan. I pray against hindrances of Satan. I say stumbling block. Things that affect your thoughts. In the name of our Lord Jesus. They are rolled away from your mind. 
I say it in Jesus' name. I commission that you begin to see. You begin to walk. I have been preaching. We've been preaching since Wednesday. I say your legs that are weak are healed. You will jump up like an alt. You will skip as the deer. You will no longer crawl. Maybe some people you've been crawling all your life. You've never walked in the spirit. Today is your victory. I said today is your victory. I said today is your victory. Today is your victory. Jesus has come. Victory day. Today is a victory day. I said today is a victory day. 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 Father, we thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Shout hallelujah. You know, some people will come, they will go. That's not going to be your case. You will never run from the living God. I say you will never run from the living God. We make war with the heart of unbelief. Amen. Is there any one of you today? Is there anybody here who says I have the heart of unbelief? No, I don't think you have that. Let there be any of you with the heart of unbelief departing. Don't make such provision. Where are you running to? What is good on head? What is where are you running? Tell me where are you running to? Where is the place of safety? There is no place, there is no safety anywhere. Where are you running to? Where? Where are you running to? They have kept you in safety. You are running out of safety. Make up your mind. Completely tonight. He said, this God will be your God, will be my God. Your, your people shall be my people. A woman without testimony, well, she was not a Jew, just sheer heart and we told the mother-in-law and said, wherever you go, I go. Your people will be my people. Your God will be my God. Is that not wonderful? Shout hallelujah. How many of you want God to be your God? It's a real promise. And it's coming to pass in your life. Thank you. Are you can you begin to pray? Can you tell him we thank you. Let's give thanks to him. Amen. Larry, you can, can you help us lift us in that song? Then, amen.
Amen. Amen. Father, we thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you for the gift, Jesus. You gave thanks. We thank you for the bread. We break it. We receive it. We thank you because it's blessed. Thank you. We receive the cup of blessing. As they drink it in this communion, they will also drink it. In the place where it's being served. It's being served by you, Jesus. We receive it served from you. Thank you for the cup. Thank you for that which I hold. Thank you for the fruit from where it came, came from. You have chosen it as an article on earth to represent that which you carry within. I receive it with thanksgiving. We receive it with thanksgiving. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for giving, it, for giving us your life. Thank you for, thank you. Amen. Hallelujah, Pastor. Just call on him. to call these following names. Okay. Um, our daddy, Reverend, and Reverend Mrs. Olabode Busui. Pastor and Pastor Mrs. Tosin Gabriel. Pastor and Pastor Mrs. Thompson Ehima. Pastor and Pastor Mrs. Eluba Debo Demeji. Pastor Chuks Chuku. Pastor Clay Kama <laughs> I feel you're <laughs> I should be considering the body now. Amen. You are not I don't feel you should rest, please. Please. Reverend Dinkwe, you can rest. But if you want to, it's okay because <laughs> but I want Reverend to rest. But it's left for you. Sorry, thank you, sir. Pastor Amen. Clay Kama. Pastor Reverend and Pastor Mrs. Benjin, Reverend Zogi, Pastor Mrs. Toulawi, Pastor and Pastor Mrs. Kalejaye, Pastor Tayo Fasson, Pastor Moses Omokafe, Pastor Kenneth Ayano Ori, Pastor Shewu Makama, Pastor Ayo Mosei, Pastor Tunji Adeguke, Pastor Yola Oyebanjo, Pastor Laide Olaniyo, Pastor Tosin Elebiyo, Pastor Kunle Ogunjobi, Pastor Sam Alta, Pastor Kolade Ojo, Pastor Mike Ogunoye, Pastor Mike Oluwole, Pastor Jude Ayan Lebechi, Pastor Peter Oyinloye, Pastor David Indelekwete, Pastor Elvis, Pastor Justin, my brother. Pastor Oliver, please come, sir. Where are their ministers? Pastor Adisa, Pastor Alfred, uh -huh. Pastor Alfred, Pastor Dixon, Pastor Adisa.
Pastor James from Eternal Life Embassy. Yes. Okay, sir. Yes, Pastor. I can't join and in fact I want you to help me coordinate outside sir mm -hmm. Pastor Moses you can also join Praise God. Okay, we can go now, but just pair up with somebody who has wine. A tray with wine, a tray with bread. Go together. Uh, we will need more people as outside.
you can go on and eat. You can eat the bread and also take the wine. And if you are in a place where it hasn't gotten to you, just just signify so that they can come to you immediately.
please just wave. The ushers will, will indicate you and then uh, let us know. Please quickly.
so easily yours And my heart exclusively yours To inhabit For you breaking me free
Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. We have come to the end of our program this year. Thank you so much for waiting. You are going home with loaded blessing. Uh, nothing will steal your blessing from you. And I prayed for you, those who came from far, and the Lord will take you home safely. Nothing will happen to your, your carriage home. Vessels in the air, cars on the road, all protected already in Jesus' name. Uh, you are going on with great things. You have been giving a lot of gifts. I put you too much of stress. I'm feeling bad right now. Um, but I'm persuaded that the Lord has blessed you. Hallelujah. He has given you incorruption. He has given you that which is on the fire. Uh, it will bear fruit. Oh. Hallelujah. Thank you all. I want to thank all workforces. Every workforce is. I want to thank you. All, all our sisters who have cooked, those who managed the crowd, those who minister, who, those who fed the ministers. I want to say thank you. I thank you for all our sisters that work in the kitchen where our lucky soul sisters are cooking from. The Lord will bless you. It will, it will repay you in beyond your imagination. Those who cook for the people, all your sufferings and all your pains around the kitchen, I said the Lord will make it back to you more than, your, more than folds that you can imagine. I say grace be to you and peace be multiplied. All form of uh, workforce, all of us, all of us, media, I can't mention them. There are many now. Hallelujah. There are many. The Lord will bless you. The Lord will increase you. The Lord will settle you. The Lord will give you more grace. In Jesus' name. Uh, I want to say to you, the Lord will keep you whole. I say he will keep you whole. I know I prayed for you, but I just want to say the, the grace of Jesus will be with you whole. He will keep you. Next year we are meeting and we are all preparing for next year convention. August is very close near. Uh, hallelujah. I don't know how long we are going to use Faith Plaza. Amen. Amen. The Lord will move us into our own place. I know not too long from now. Can we shout hallelujah? All things are possible with God. Amen. I uh, just want to say hello. Love you dearly. Uh, heaven loves you, the Father cares for you, the Father loves you, Jesus loves you, he prays for you, and he will never leave you, nor forsake you, in Jesus' name. Shout hallelujah. I want to thank our fathers, our daddies in the Lord. Let me appreciate my brother, Reverend Busui, who has come to stay. Uh, uh, thank you, Reverend. Reverend Bimpe, thank you, Ma. Ah, love of more than two, almost more than two, more than a decade, more than, or close to two decades. Every time, Reverend has not passed away. Like I said, it's a love challenge of Reverend Busui. is serious. You told me sometimes, and Reverend, thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Um, uh, first quarter of next year, we'll be having life campaign. Me already there in Jesus' name. How many of you are going to sow to that effect? Just bear that in mind. Don't forget. We're going to sow to it. Amen. A shout at me. It's becoming a, a kind. I don't know where we are going to hold. Is it in Ondo or Akure? Let Reverend decide. Hallelujah. Here we go. If it is Akure, we will fly plane. Amen. Shout at me. <laughs> Amen. Are we ready? Are we joyful? Uh, Reverend Tosin, thank you. Pastor Tosin and Pastor Precious. Hallelujah. Okay, sorry, I'm sorry I call you Reverend. <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah, Pastor. Our uh, Pastor, Pastor Eneka, thank you. Uh, mommy, thank you, Ma. That is uh, Reverend Lillian. You are blessed, Ma. Uh, let me appreciate my wonderful wife. <laughs> Amen. Sweetheart, you are blessed. Thank you. Thank you for being strong. 
Thank you for being a blessing in the afternoon. Amen. <laughs> uh, Pastor Thompson, let me ask Pastor Thompson and Pastor Dupe. Pastor, uh, the, our, our daddy in the Lord, Pastor Luba Debon and the wife. Amen. Praise God. So, you know, they don't like it. Amen. Very soon you'll be 50, you know. You are past 40. I'm sure you hate that 50. But you will get there. Praise God. Shout hallelujah. Praise God. Pastor, so you, are not going to, you are going to get to 50. It's not only your father that will get to 50. You will get to 50. So I want to see you in 50s. Hallelujah. Pastor Clay, 50 is knocking at the door. Pastor Chooks, thank you. Let me appreciate them. Ruth, you are blessed. Hallelujah. Pastor Clay's wife. Pastor, uh, Ma- Pastor Benji. Mommy, thank you. Pastor Tayo Fatson. Pastor Makama. Pastor Moses is not seated. I appreciate him a lot. Hallelujah. Amen. I want to appreciate Red Pastor Ken. Uh, my son, you are so dear to my heart. Hey, I feel like protecting you all the time. That's why I hug you. <laughs> amen. Everybody say amen. Let me appreciate Pastor Topen. Falaye, Pastor Ayo, almost saying, Pastor Tunji Adegoke, Pastor um, Iola, Emi Oyebamiji, Emi appreciate my son, Laide, hallelujah, Pastor Laide, you are blessed, hallelujah, Tosi Elevio, hallelujah, you are blessed, hallelujah, all of them, Michael Goye, Pastor Jude, Pastor Sam Auta, Pastor Kolade, Hallelujah, you are blessed. We love you. I want you to can you hear me appreciate my son in Ogun State at Belkota Adisa. Hallelujah. Pastor Adisa, you are blessed, sir. Thank you so much. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Ah, Pastor. Pastor Helvis. Pastor David. Pastor Francis. Pastor Peter. Ah, Uncle Wale, you are blessed. Hallelujah, Pastor Francis and the wife, thank you. I want to appreciate all my Gadite pastors, all of them, every Richard. Hallelujah, Pastor Leke, Pastor Tilash, Hallelujah, Kogo, and the rest of them. I love you. Pastor Livasa, my heart goes out to you. Thank you for, I know you love me to a fault. Thank you so much. Let me appreciate him. This is my brother. People don't know him. It's my brother. Pastor Liva will love you dearly. Thank you so much. Amen. Can you help me appreciate um, all our mummies, all our mummies, pa- Daddy Abaje? Thank you, sir. Hallelujah. Thank you. Amen. Uh, Pastor Chooks, I think I've appreciated you. Amen. Praise the Lord. I want to appreciate all of you, all of you, all of you, all of you, all of you. Ah, it will be a sin if I don't appreciate. All our ministers who minister to us in song. Pastor Alfred, my son, amen. I don't worry, you are my son. Even though you are Reverend Busi's son, you are my son too. Anything Pastor Busi, you father, and also a father. I'm his brother, hallelujah. So I'm your uncle in the spirit. Everybody say amen. Everybody shout hallelujah. <laughs> amen. I, I may appreciate all of them, the way they minister to us tonight. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Thank you, thank you. Hallelujah, thank you, thank you so much. I want to appreciate Maru, <laughs> Flexi. I want to appreciate David. I want to appreciate uh, Emeka. I don't know the names of these, my children. They, hallelujah. Know that your daddy loves you, all of you there. The trumpeters, the saxophonists. Mike behind drum, I thank you. Uh, can you help me appreciate my brother from Mondo Beast Drum? The, not to the our brother who has Paul Polo, thank you. Is Polo there? Polo, thank you so much. Amen. Praise God. Thank you so much. Can you let me appreciate Pastor Dixon, please? Let me appreciate him. People may not know Dixon. We should thank God for these people. Uh, he's laid down their life. Uh, Reverend Busui's children are strong. Reverend, thank you. They are like you, sir. Uh, and I thank God for their labor. Dixon, God will bless you, sir. Hallelujah. Thank you. And I'm happy. 
uh, God has appointed you to look over that work in Undo, you won't fail. In the name of Jesus. Dick say, I love you. Tell your wife I love her. Alfie, tell Lydia that I'm in love with her. I like her a lot. Hallelujah. Alfred, you are wonderful. Kai, Alfred, God provided you for us. Is it possible to let me just thank Larry for me? <laughs> Amen. Larry, the Lord will bless you, my son. All he wants to do is that I'm okay. Thank you. Uh, is Larry is not normally carve my, my beard, is he? I don't know why that beard. He has the skill for the beard. I can't give it to anybody to carve. Pastor Clay does the head. Pastor Clay said, let Larry be carving the beard. And you have done it well. Please let me appreciate him for me. Amen. Larry, you are blessed. Oh, Toby, we love you. I, your daddy loves you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Larry's wife. Amen. Uh, Biola, take... I want you to take news back to Canada, brethren, that we love them. You, what an awesome experience. We love you. Hallelujah. Amen. Are we set today? Can you help me appreciate Tosin for me? Tosin. Tosin behind the instrument, the sound engineer. Can you help me appreciate my son, Banji? Banji, for years. Amen. For years. Hallelujah. And all those who are with them. You know, there are many. Hallelujah. Thank you so much. Multimedia, the E-Church, and his crew. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Is it possible to help me appreciate Flo? Flo, Flo, Flo. Is Flo here? <laughs> Hallelujah. Flo does everything. If it is one thing you give to him, he will do it all his soul. If you tell him, carry this stick, he will carry it in a style. Flo, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, Flo. Flo has reproduced camera and under the floor and pastor Richie, Richo, God bless you, God bless you. Richo, your daddy likes you a lot. Can you, can you help me appreciate Richie? Richie, Rich, thank you so much. Rich, amen. Thank you. Richard, God will bless you. God will bless you. Richard is a laborer. Pastor Richard, God bless you. You're a laborer. Wonderful heart. He's an organizer, an administrator, and the father. He's what he's doing there. Ah, shout hallelujah. We love you dearly. We say love, love to you all. In Jesus' name. Is it possible to help me appreciate all the security people? Right from Pastor Kalajaye to Harab. How many of you like Harab? You like Arab? Arab is too mean. Everyone say, hey, man. Don't worry, he's an angel by nature. He's an angel. Shout out. And he has boys. Hallelujah. They have raised angels like themselves. So, so don't be angry when you see them pushing. They don't want you to touch. No, they just want me to go and rest. Not that they are trying to. I get it. They just want. Hallelujah. And they said they, they, they want to do it. Every, those kids are too committed. They are too committed. Thank you so much. All thank you. They are hearing me. Those security men are different places. Hallelujah. There are some of them in this corner. Always taking care. Protocols. Where you see them hiding. Listening to message by phone. Moses, I don't know the anointing on you. I don't know what kind of anointing. Shout hallelujah. We love you. Thank you. Thank you. I want to thank all the heads of departments. Thank you. I thank you all. Jesus will reward you in your secret places. He will bring, reward you even to the open. Amen. Hallelujah. There is someone I want to thank. Oh, can you help me thank Dr. Lame Kora? Right. Doctor's heart is here. He's pastoring from London and his heart is with us. Doc, Reverend says he loves you. Zoom me. Let him see my mouth. 
Reverend loves you dearly. I'm sure you are smiling now. Hallelujah. And mommy also, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hallelujah. We are close. Not so. You don't want to go home. Okay, they are waiting for grace. Can we share the grace in fellowship? The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now. Amen. Pastor Thompson, love you, sir. Love you dearly. Thanksgiving will be 